my pants. It's cool. <laughs> We'll uh, we'll deal with that. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll deal with the aftermath of this later. We'll let we'll let him birthday party. It's it's his party, it's and, his he can, party. It's his party and he can it's his party and he can whine it as much too. as possible. Uh, don't don't worry too much about it. Cause we also got uh, we got games here. Yeah, there are video games to play. There there are things. There are other casual events this Friday. I hear Resident Evil Two has a one shot demo. Yeah, the one shot demo came out. Man, he's he's just holding that. There I don't think go. he understands how to eat Hold it. Hold on, he's starting to bite down. He's getting it. I think he's like, hey, this is a flavorful wafer in my mouth. Home. 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 You enjoying oh, that, Mr. Is, okay. This, he's, this is he's, going great. He's figuring it out. Perfect. Lovely. <laughs> what a dog. <laughs> so January 11th, that's the boy's birthday? It's that's the, his this birthday. This is the actual day? That, that, is right. the, that is the day that we this, were given by the shelter that we picked for him a up weekend. from. Well, apparently he's chosen me over you. Yes, and uh, he he knows that you're not going to attempt to take that away from him. I mean, ever. it is true. He's he's allowed to keep it on, on my watch. Yep. I mean, I wasn't going to take it from him either, but he does know me as the one that will sometimes take things that he is chewing on and enjoying. <laughs> he's a good boy. Well, I'm just glad it's got his focus. So when we got the scary zombies on screen, yeah. he'll have something to comfort him. He he won't be afraid of the spooky zombies. Mm-hmm. No, it's gonna be gone have... real fast. It looks like. Oh yeah. It's... <laughs> It's going to be out there. He's okay. enjoying his birthday cake. Uh, Erica and Chelsea took him to a dog park today. Ooh, fun time. So we got to meet some new friends. Nice. Got to go off leash. Apparently there's a German shepherd out there named Valkyrie that he's a friend with now. Five new friends. Oh, he has five, five new friends. Five what a friends. What a birthday party puppy. And he's uh, he's got that cake. He, well, he ate it. It is consumed. He, he is now he's just cleaning the couch. He is a very professional you know dog. Good, he is good cleaning job. the spot Leave the couch left. like you found it. That's the... We have unspoken rules here, but that's the only one we speak. Yeah, he is, uh, he's left less of a mess than Kaiser did with his burrito earlier. It's true. <laughs> yeah. And either we're getting close-ups on both. Yeah, it's perfect. Lovely. It's a good boy, Mr. Steak. Yeah, you are. Happy birthday, boy. Scott should be happy to know that there are people who are instantly grabbing that that one bit of him, to him eating oh, the burrito. Oh, just Good. It? Perfect. Good. I'm glad that's good. clipped for Idol- I, uh, posterity. Immortalizing it. All right. Yeah, with, with that's the, it. With the main event out of the way, I guess. Main event is <laughs> the main event has been set. And that's a dog, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is what we call. I'm a sure dog. you've never seen one. Quite the exciting creature. He's a good boy. <laughs> says his face of. So apparently, there's a one-shot demo. I guess it's like one and done. You play it, and it's over. Only a single attempt. Thank you, Sinmaru, for the birthday cupcake bits. Oh, he, he's done. He's out of here. Oh. Oh. You joining me now? Now that I can't take anything. No, from Mr. You? Steak, I don't think you understand. These streams are two hours long. You can't leave yet. <laughs> yeah, you got to show some professionalism not, here, buddy. Nope. Steak. I mean, nothing you says you have me? to stay on the couch or the not. whole time. I mean, but... you, can, you can head out wherever you want. Let's see. <laughs> Voice language English. I guess that makes sense. Oh, hi, buddy. All the mics are on. So Good. He so he can, he can talk as much as he wants. Perfect. Uh, display language. Oh, looks like he's following some people out of the room. It's fine. Yeah, just let him do. Yeah, as let long him, as he's, he's not chewing it's on his something. Birthday. Let he him can, do what he, he wants. Can, he can birthday roam all he wishes. Real time binaural, uh, uh, so 3D audio, which doesn't make a lot of difference for us. Yeah. So we can leave it on. Uh, we have just a TV. TV yeah. display. There we go. But yeah, sure. On our 3D audio. Until pattern is just barely visible. That means brighter, I think. So people are saying the audio is is just barely ahead of the video. Is there a fix for that? Uh, uh, the, oh, our our audio. Yeah. Um, Do we have a way of handling that? There is an audio delay function in there. Kieran knows a bit more about it than if I you, do. If you go to um, <coughs> the little gear, there will yeah. be an audio, uh, I think, advanced options or something. One yeah, of them will be properties. desync, microphone desync, just whatever our mics are. Just up its desync, I would say, by 700 milliseconds. Check from there. People still say it's behind or ahead. Kind adjust of just adjust value until okay. picture on the Seven left nine? disappears. Also, others are saying it's fine, so who knows? All right, there we go. Okay, well, to I'll re-net. Leave it alone until people, more people say it's No. <laughs> no. Oh, well, somebody broke the two. All right, let's see what we got here. It's been a while since I've played Resi. Last time was Resi 7. Resident Evil logo starting to And you to have a 30-minute limit here, it Okay, like, so, too. so you just get 30 minutes, get as far as you can. Yeah. Let's speed run this. Let's go. Come on. I've seen people beat this game in less time. Yeah. 
Final game may differ from this demo. This demo is only playable for a one-off 30-minute trial. All right. You want to get one demo try. demo can only be played online. Okay. So are there other people helping me? Supposed to be a short break for Leon S. Kennedy. Just one last pit stop at a gas station on the outskirts of town when the rookie cop found himself surrounded in a sea of zombies. <gasps> Along with a newfound friend, Claire Redfield, Leon managed to escape Raccoon City only for an accident to split them apart. He would later go on to protect the president's daughter. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, wow, they just throw you right here, huh? Oh, man, if I knew what run was. Okay, there we go. Cool. That'll that'll help us along. All right, we need to find the one the one dude who's dying, right, and then gotta, he becomes a zombie. I want to see us do that before uh, before the end here. The one guy who talks to us for a bit that. and then asks us to get, like, a key or something. Yeah, okay, we got a computer. Laptop computer right next to a typewriter. Raccoon City Police Department. Decided RPD Oops, was better quiet. than RCPD. Bang. All right, that guy's having issues. Good to know. Better angle. Shoot. Go for the head. Yeah, shoot him in the head, dummy. Yeah, we deserve. East, hallway. east hallway gotcha that's the east hallway next oh, to the wow. break room I gotta find that guy. hey it's that guy have you seen this man right. uh let's see this is okay storage gotcha did you play resident evil 2 i barely played it resi 3 was okay. the first one i i played resi 1 a bunch i didn't play a lot of 2 and I played uh, three, I think, was the first one I beat. All right. I didn't play very much Resident Evil 2, but I watched my brother play it probably in its entirety. And it was my first experience with Resident Evil and kind of zombies in general. Okay, so I don't have a lockpick or a key to open that. Now I remember my mom walked in when my brother died and a bunch of zombies descended on him and ate him and just bloody text, you died, pop up on the screen. And my mom was like, you shouldn't be playing this. That is and made us not turn it okay. off, but then we turned it back on like a half hour later after she left. Haha, -ha, take that, Mom. Sorry if you're listening, Mom. We played this behind your back. Well, right, so there's uh, 20 years ago. As uh, patented police procedure, you need the three emblems to unlock the statue portal or whatever. Yeah, no, the only way you can get to the chief's office is by p slotting in the, th the three puzzle pieces. And you need the sword, the arrow, and the blindfold. Or I gotta scales. say, it's really weird to see this... Uh, this police headquarters without just fixed camera no. angles. No? Okay. I think it's locked. That's, that's locked or jammed. This is my, like, whenever I think Resident Evil, though, this is the game I think of. Like, 2 is my is my go-to. Like, oh, Resident Evil. You mean the one where you're going through the, you know, going through here and, and fighting yeah. these guys. And, and you've got... Uh, it's not Nemesis, but there's a big dude following Claire around. It may you, as well be Nemesis. Yeah, pretty much. You can swap him in for Nemesis, and that's not an issue. Liquors. Oh. Well, okay. I thought I tried that before. This is a good idea. Let's open up that keep Just out Go ahead and door. crawl under. Yeah, that's bound to be a good idea. Yeah, no, this is a great plan here we got. Especially leaving your torso under it like that. There's nothing that could go wrong doing that. How do I aim? I'm guessing it's R2. Yes, okay. I only know this game with tank controls. Anything more than that will be confusing. Well, welcome to the new age, Grant. Can't handle it. All these jammed doors. I mean, again, there's a zombie apocalypse going. Where? Uh, I think what? we got a liquor somewhere. So early? Are you kidding me? Probably not. You but... got this. You got this. You got this. It's okay, Leon. Oh, wait, weren't there weird things in the water? Was that what it was? I can't remember. I know, lick, like, were, were liquors introduced into? Yeah, I think so. Pretty sure they were new to this game. That said, I never finished one. Ew, messy pants. Ah, but he's, got, but he's packing. He's packing. Just turn on some lights in here. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. It's less scary. 
Here, we can give a press conference. There are no zombies. Nothing to fear. We Folks. are the police. Listen to what we say. Raccoon City Police Department on duty. On the case. Please inform us of your missing family members. We will look for them ASAP as possible. Yep. Got to clear those corners. No zombies yet. Jesus. Mm. I don't think he has anything to do with this, but we could ask him. He's the one who came back to life canonically. It's true. Open up. Hurry. Uh, who? Open Where? Up. Over here? Open this goddamn door. This one? No, that one. How about you? Oh, this one. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll get you out. All right, I got you, bud. Oh, this is heavy. Please, give me help me. Oh, hey. I got you, bud. I'm sure you're Come fine. on, you're fine. Give me your other hand. Just don't start screaming out of nowhere. You'll probably... Oh, 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 oh. No, it's okay. I got you. I got you. We're, we're okay. Looks like we're you all got okay. your shoes down there. Oh, hmm, mm. hmm. Okay. Uh, you might... How do your legs feel? Oh, he's in shock. the answer we expected. Yeah, okay. I I'd need to rest after that. A little. It's, it's, it's stressful. Thanks, Crazy Jimmy, for the 500 bits, saying, Did I just see Leon use advanced technology of holding a flashlight in his other hand? Right. Man, Officer's notebook. Figure out this okay, so there's a goddess statue with the uh, secret, you, you know, three Dragon Balls, blocks, three Chaos Emeralds. And then you can get out of the parking lot. Right. Also, here's this fan art of a unicorn. There's a lion at... eating a sheep or a ram, and then there's a unicorn with Lady Harp. These are all puzzles we're going to have to deal with later. I imagine. All right, well, uh, this seems like everything else over here is taken care yeah. of. We'll just well, move on out. Glad we saw oh, that. Oh, hi, officer. <laughs> I'm not sure what you want. And Leon was infected. Officer, no. Stay down. Hey. Have there been any zombie games where one bite is enough to get you actually infected over time? Uh, Dead Rising. Re okay, yeah. He did have to keep picking the serum or whatever. Right, cool. Now, now these are non-lethal bullets, right? It's fucking. Oh, okay. It's a new guy. Gotcha. Cool. I'm fine with that. Fuck off. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> wow. Got him. Showed him what for. Language, Leon. There's still people roaring at me. I don't I think, appreciate that. I think more that. guys came in. Oh, he's still what? How many times do I gotta shoot you in the dome? I put him down. Nope. Oh my god. Holy shit, what is this dude made oh, out shit. of? Like, oh, is there even a we face there anymore? We pranked the rookie cop and gave him all paintballs. Yeah. <laughs> Slappers only. I Do I have a key yet? No? What that, that what guy if I gave combined me, like, my gun with this shit, right? chain? Yeah, if I shoot that chain, would that, uh. Nah, probably not. Probably just waste bullets. All right, so the Resident Evil way, as is tradition. I guess we'll head this way. What could be bad in the bathroom? Zombie toilet. And this music is uh, not letting down. It here. might not eat flesh, but that toilet is very infected. That's why they keep first aid spray on hand mm -hmm. in the bathroom at all times. Well, that's over. Is that where all this water's coming from? That had to be an issue before. Okay, like this was something where we got a we we wanted to get a plumber, but he was a zombie and just too much trouble. Huh? Oh, where'd that break? Okay, cool. Got a new way out. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Pop. Wait, I know. Take out their legs. You're not so tough without your knees. Yeah, moving. Yeah, but that didn't stop that other cop. Yeah, that's true. Got a double tap. Always got a double tap. So they broke through here. Oh, hello, sir. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that take. Son of a uh, bitch. Just another day for annoying. rookie cop Leon S. Kennedy. It's like, ah, god damn it. Son of a bitch. All these zombies. Man. Oh, got some wooden boards. Awesome. That's good. Just put them there, I guess. 
Hey, more ammo. That's it's one good. thing I never, like, I get that it was part of the appeal and idea of you are being stressed, you have limited space, limited resources, but I always hated, like, resource management in, in these. Like, not so much holding onto bullets, but like, hey, you've only got 12 slots in your bag, better Tetris your way into holding all your stuff. Yeah. Can I break this with the boards? No. Com oh, never mind. I was like, can you combine it with the... Oh. Let's combine it with another it's item, not with the door. All right, we're going to board up this window just to make ah, sure that nothing's coming in our way. Good idea. See, I'm a brilliant strategist, Mr. Steak. Welcome back to the table. The dog has wherever. returned. He's not on camera, but he's here. All right, did you have any ammo on you, sir? No? Okay. So we got that boarded up. Uh, haven't gotten any further into where we need to be, I don't believe, but, uh... Normally, I'd say relax and take your time, but we got 30 minutes! Less than that now, I mean... We're... We'll see if the stream, stream stays around. The dog's going near all the wires. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Did I, uh, pick okay. up anything to... Nope. Okay, well, we'll just... Go out, out the way we way came, then. <laughs> Seems fair to me. <laughs> just grab your head. Is there something you want me to mash, Leon? No? no. Want me to mash anything yet? You chose the wrong exit, says the game. Oh, no, oh, we got a friend. Oh. Yeah! You were almost a Leon taco. Oof. Hey, Kaiser. Here's the guy I was talking about. Oh, is Mr. Steak uh, over there now? He is dangerously close to a lot of equipment over here. Nice. Mr. Steak, come on, bud. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yeah, go to Grant. Oh, there you oh my go. God, it's my boy. It's my boy, Leon. Yeah. Leon, the savior of America, Kennedy. I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Did exactly all we could. So Resident Evil 2 is my favorite Resident Evil. It's a good one. Like I said, I don't know if it would be my favorite. I think that's probably four. But as far as ones that I think, when I hear the words Resident Evil, this is the game that comes to my mind. I wish I'd come here sooner. For those just joining, it's Mr. Steak's birthday over there. Okay, Lieutenant. He's pointing at something. He's not sure what he's... Uh, <laughs> he's intrigued. That officer you met earlier, Ellie. He thought this secret passageway might... That looks like a still picture. It's <laughs> <laughs> the idea. We can get you to hospital. No. No, I am not the priority here. Are you okay, Mr. Steak? I'm not just going to leave you here. I'm giving you all right. a rookie. You he doesn't know it, but we've put dog whistles on all of the <laughs> air vents. <laughs> God, the acting in this is actually really good. Like, everything about There was a great stop. take when a zombie came through a door. Leon just said, son, son of a bitch. bitch. <laughs> just was very... Very plain. I am not happy with this. This just pickles my <laughs> dick. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Leon, you've never looked prettier. He really does look awfully pretty. It's it's before his like he's a young boy. Got that cleft in his chin. What was the name of the the show with the I don't wanna wait for us. Dawson's Creek. That's yeah, he looks like a Dawson's Creek <laughs> yeah. character. Dawson's Creek went to hell. I'm ready. All right. Dawson's Creek CQC. was a small suburb of Raccoon City. Now we can cut this tape. Couldn't do that without a knife. You know, I'm really glad that there's actual animation of him cutting the tape because there was a part of me that was just waiting for the slash and then the tape just falls off. <laughs> Resident Evil style. Resident Evil 5 yes, please. is not a Resident Evil game. It's enjoyable, but it's not Resident Evil. Same with Resi 6. Oh, Resi 6 isn't even either of those things. Neither Resident Evil nor a game. Well, I was going to say enjoyable, but... Oh. It got dark again. Oh, uh -huh, you think I'm... I've never played RE7, bullshit? though. I want to do that. Resi 7's really good. I played, like, the first quarter of it, maybe? I... I'd recommend if you guys do do that here, uh, put Scott in the in the fucking VR in headset. In the VR, that'd be a great. I, I, you also, know what? thank you, Far No In, for the thousand birthday bits. Hell yeah, thank you so much, man. You know the hey, are you okay? 
Five oh. thousand. Ooh. Period. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Oh, oh, wow. no. oh yeah. Oh. I don't like oh, that. I like it. <laughs> I, I, I don't like that at all. I, I don't have a problem with body horror, so. I will say that my favorite. Uh, that seems The right. only time I ever played Final Fantasy. Or, Mondays, uh, am I right? <laughs> there we the go. Only day, uh, the only time I ever played Res, uh, Resident Evil 7 was in Japan at the Capcom bar, and they put me in a VR to play it. Yes. It's the way to experience it. Yeah. Do, do we got PSVR here? Uh, I, I, th- I think, I think Kieran's Grant, currently. Kieran took it? I think okay. Kieran's currently. Because okay. we do have it. And have Beat one, Saber yeah. is on yeah. that as well, and it's really cool. Yeah, so I we, really we, we could bring that, that in and like have Scott like go through RE7. Hey, how's it going? Obviously, you're not going to. Back off. On the, oh, God. What the? But, <laughs> this is like the knife. fifth zombie you've encountered at you this point. You want to use your knife on that guy now? I guess. This is when you get bit. This was at your suggestion. Oh god, never mind, never mind. Oh god. Oh. Got him though. Good. But now I don't Wait, did have you the lose knife. your knife? Oh god. Dude, Jesus. Put it in Christ. the head. I know it wasn't your choice, but Yeah, I took like you should have seen this. I put like five bullets in the head of one of these things yes. and it just did not want to go down, so. Yeah, the, the traditional like headshot. Hey, get over here. I need my knife. Get down. All right, that has to do it, right? Yeah. <gasps> Thank you. I'll take that back. Now, I'm currently in caution mode, so... No, no, I just want to get to my inventory. I just want to come by and say hi. I'm about to go to dinner, so I'll all see right. y'all later. Go Have enjoy fun. Dinair. I'm going to play this later. later. Yeah, I think we're actually approaching the end of our demo anyway. <laughs> yeah, we're getting there. I don't know how long a half hour is. Uh don't know how long these cameras well, stay on. So. 30 minutes is a half hour. Yeah, but how As long is that flies. really? When you're enjoying yourself, how long is 30 minutes? I think I've been told the timer stops when you're in your menu, so. Oh, well, that'd be neat. That would be, you know, that'd be appreciated. If somebody had to pause it and be like, oh, but then couldn't play it anymore yeah. until, like, you know, a week and when it comes out. Probably why they did it. You don't want to have someone start it and they'd be like, oh, shoot. If 30 minutes worth of distraction came up and I had to pause it. All right, we got a map. Oh, they made the thing. Oh. They made the noise on the controller. It's the gimmick. Have there been any, like, controller, like, fun controller gimmicks that really worked on you ever? Like, anything that's... Oh, this knife has, has a, a life bar. Can only can only use it so much before it breaks. I actually liked in Witcher 3 how when you went up on the touchpad on the PS4, mm -hmm. it, would, it would bring up the mat specifically. Okay. Um, you could press in for other stuff, but if you just swiped up... Just swiping up would, would bring you up the map. It's like a quick... A, you know, a hotkey for it. See, I'm a sucker for gimmicks. I think the one that worked the best for me, and it was not that the game itself was particularly good, but there was an Uncharted on the Vita, and at some oh, point yeah. you get a piece of paper and with a secret <laughs> message on it. You're like, how do I find the Oops, message? Bumped into it. And then you have to use the camera of the PS Vita to point at a light source so light yeah. shines through the paper and you can see the message. And I'm like, that's so fucking cool. No, Video games are awesome. <laughs> that That is really cool. Like shit like that I love. Like not if you do it to death and it sucks and it's an annoyance, mm -hmm. but when it's just enough to be like, I don't know, there's this added function. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, what you about know. in uh, like the Zeldas on the uh, DS, where sometimes you had to copy like a note onto a map, and in order to figure out a puzzle, you'd have to close the thing and reopen oh, yeah, it, and, and then like the stamp, stamp would it. appear. Yeah, I yeah, love that like too. That's cool. I, I will say Splatoon on Switch is actually pretty great with the like, motion the control. Aim, the aiming is actually really fun. Yeah, um, I've I've, I've it, heard it that is actually the way to play it. At if first, you want but to when you get into it, it's like. You can react in a way that's a lot faster. Yeah. See, I um, have this weapons place key thing, but I'm not sure where that is. I'm guessing it's back where I came from, but I just missed the door. Yeah. I honestly don't remember the layout of the police station. That's the word I kept, couldn't remember. It's a police station. Oh, hold on. I need my herb. Headquarters or place. Uh, another controller gimmick that was kind of fun was uh, Infamous Second Son on PS4. We actually tilted the uh, the PS4 controller to the side and, and acted like it was a spray can. When oh you yeah, the, the yeah, no, that was really cool. That was yeah, fun. You, you had to shake it and then use the triggers to spray paint. Yeah, yeah that was that was cool. That actually worked pretty well, and the controller would even make the little sound for you. Let's see, I know there's like an open window around here. Aha! No, no, that's. What about the one that that one dude broke through? Oh, what? There we go. Can I not climb through? I don't mm. think you can climb through. I think that's just there to. 
They're going to spawn things until you board it up. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah, like Which I don't board remember being a up. thing in two, but I might be wrong. So there's like a weapons locker somewhere. Yeah, Jakato Boktai on the GBA with its light, its solar panel. And there's that. Hold on. There's something I missed. Oh, these are just notes. Oh, I stopped a day before my birthday. That's when things went wrong in Raccoon City. It's good to know. I do remember this being the first game that, like, genuinely scared me. Um, like, I remember being afraid of zombies oh, oh, here after we go. this game for the first time. Resident Evil 1 scared my brother the most. Like, when you get through that, uh, the, uh, zombie turning around the first time. Yeah. I remember for me, I had my moment of, I can't play this by myself, I'm turning this off, is you, before this part of the game, when you're traveling here, you find a guy in a shop, and if you stick around for too long, zombies bust in and eat him. Yeah. And, uh, what That'd I, be spooky. Yeah, it's, it's very spooky, but I actually left early, and you just hear that happen off screen, and it terrified Ooh. me as a kid, and I was like, I'm done, like, can't do this. Nope. Nope. Just, open out. just hearing, oh God! Ah! just off of the distance was enough for my like nine or ten, however old I was, brain to just be like, I'm done. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. I agree, Leon. Leon. <laughs> what the hell? That worked. It almost sounded like Justin Cook is Yusuke Yermeshi. What the hell? <laughs> Kuwabara. Kuwabara. What the hell? <laughs> Oh, I don't got Good this. Luck. I bet there's like a database online with all the oh, answers to absolutely. all this it's shit. Called game facts. Yeah. No. And if you pronounce a game FAQs, you're a crazy person. It's true. Excuse you. Who? Row. <laughs> Row. Are they are they through the door? I still need a special key. I was going to say, if that dude gets up, His fuck you. Head's like split in half. From where? Uh, where did you come from? You found me. Ah. You know what? You're no, you're no problem to anybody down there. That's what they always say. And then they trip and then he eats them. Well, there's a door closed. But oh, hi. Guess we walked right past that guy. Well, he doesn't seem to care. I'm just Officer Braids. I'm not a zombie. I just have bad posture. Ah! Ah! Jesus, my knees. Oh! Excuse me, sir. Back the fuck off. Kindly. We're going to reload this because we're running low on ammunition. I think we're just going to have to skip a few people here. Ooh, the shadow work on those windows is fun. Yeah. There's some more there boards. Some more boards. Some more herbs. Can I combine them? Yes, please. Mixed herb. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a fun weekend. Ah, save, but, you know, no point. 30 minutes. Here. No time to save. Flip the lights in this dark room here. Okay. Don't have anything I really wish to develop. Oop. Red herb. Can't oh. combine that. Can't combine that. I needed to combine that with one green herb. Yes. All right, uh, well, here's some lockers. Thank you. Bullets. Which are definitely necessary. Some more gunpowder. Gun oh, I can't combine gunpowder, huh? Wait. Oh, yep, there we go. I just you made more bullets. make more bullets. All right, so let's combine those. There we go. We'll reload. So now we're in a better pos position here, and I think I can... Uh, Stow? Nothing here I really want to stow. Maybe the red herb. Yeah. Thought I saw something walking around the corner there. No, you have your fun. Oh, no, I broke no, in. He's having fun, all right. Hey, you got something for me? More ammo? Cool. I'll take it. Sounds like they're, up to, they're running up the stairs. Are they able to run? Oh, not running, but you know. Oh, down the stairs, though. Down, there you go. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. I'm just moseying on stairs. Oh, oh God. 
I need that knife back, though, sir. Can I have it, please? This isn't a request. Thank you. Seems like it's like at least three to four headshots. This is what it takes to kill a zombie in this. Yeah, at least with these guns. Yeah. Ooh, Your that's weak ass pistol. I guess they just didn't want it to be too easy to just nail everybody and be done. They well, are kind like, of slow lumbering Like with lumbering every Resi creature. game, I'm mm. betting there's way, like, or at least since 4, there's ways to upgrade your guns yeah. and ammo and shit. Mm. Like, there's a shotgun around here somewhere, apparently. Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm just going to assume he's He dead. was the new guy. We were just hazing him. Hey. I guess he came all the way up here. Cool. All right. Well, I'm just going to ignore him for now. Not really my problem. This is a tall police station. It's a very ornate and labyrinthine police station. Like, I feel like it was built on some sort of ceremonial temple. I see that shadow. Is that just a mannequin? That'd be a trick. Oh, that's yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a mannequin. Just a little doll. Just a trick of perspective. Hey, we got a key. And I'm really running low on space. Shit. Yep. Like I said... <laughs> uh, Resource management. Yeah, inventory is kind of my least favorite thing about these games. What was that? What in the Man, I don't even have the shotgun yet. I'm in trouble. I probably should have had it. Like, there was probably a thing downstairs. Oh, jump scare city. That dog in the first hallway. Hell yeah. yeah. I know somewhere in this game there's a big hallway with, like, big windows, and you run by it four or five times and nothing happens. And then, but then finally. Like, but then, like, the sixth time, just <laughs> birds just fly in. It's like a fuck. fucking flock of crows. Is he just dead? <laughs> I'm guessing. He's not flailing about like every other zombie. He's just a very acrobatic zombie. Leon, it's Marvin. He's talking to you back here ASAP. Are you okay, Marvin? No. I've got something to show you. I'm a zombie! Right there. All right, I'm on my way, Marvin. Ah, and the lore of the police station was originally a museum. That's why it's so big. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I just love that reading. He, every single one Son of a he's bitch. Like, God damn it, I want us to... Just, uh, How long will it, does it take? It's my first day. <laughs> All right, now where are we? Okay, uh, that... That's one of those things I need, I think. Uni oh, the unicorn. Okay, the was unicorn. it wasn't yeah, wasn't the unicorn, that in our uh, notebook? Yeah, oh, hold on. There's a angry door. Oh. Which leg will come off first? Probably this one. There, there we go. One second, lady. Uh, I think that's it. Hello? Oh, it's just uh, another guy. I'm glad the door had the courtesy to close for the next zombie. Oh, this is another one. So apparently, if you don't take those guys out, it starts to build up. I guess. No. Stay down, dude. Nobody appreciates a party pooper. I do here. like the idea of zombies as a horror thing in that one of them normally isn't very scary. It's when it's like, oh, there's like five or six, and I need to pay attention to all of them. It's yeah. once zombies start actually being a threat. All yeah. right, so let's see here. Lady Harp with a bird and a unicorn. All right, is that like a legend for this? Nope. Harp? Wait, Harp? Lady Harp and bird? Harp lady... Bird? Okay, so maybe it's Lady Heartbird. Oh, no. Maybe it's Bird. Oh, hold on. Maybe it's not that type of bird. Maybe it's Sitting Bird. Maybe it's Lady Bird Oscar. Oh, here's a harp again. It's a movie. Harp Lady. Yeah, hey! okay. Just in a random order, I guess. Well, we got that. Now <laughs> this is taking up space. Pre That's neat. Presumably, was there some sort of like actual puzzle there's there? There's probably, <laughs> like, I mean, there was probably less guesswork I'm in it. Than I'm I was pretty sure in. you are given that notebook to help you speed through these puzzles mm -hmm. if you've never played it before. Okay, Assuming so that door's jammed. Same. 
Fuck <laughs> you. Motherfucker, I don't even give a shit. Go fuck yourself, piece of goddamn garbage. That's what I think. Hey, look, it's one of these doors. Use it. Cook clack. Ooh, it did the thing. Hey! Look at that! Shortcuts. Looks like Resident Evil was Dark Souls after all. What? Is that it? Or am I in a cutscene? Are you okay, 30 minutes scene. up? Oh. So I guess two cutscenes count against your 30 minutes. I don't know. Because we're going for a while. <coughs> we're, we're, yes. we're nearly 40 minutes into the stream. I knew she'd make it. Oh, you know her? Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. East side. What's you need up? the clover key. Represent. But <laughs> that's guarded by three <laughs> demons. Thanks, Lieutenant. It's... It's guarded by Harry, Mildred, and Scott. Oh, damn. Oh, Harry there it is, is quite <laughs> slow, but Mildred is in between. Scott never stops. Oh, that, okay. So I beat it before. Oh, nice. So I made it. There you go. And Take zero that. retries. No retries used. I am a immaculate player. Well played. Nice. Probably, yeah. probably like, you know, the world record. Yeah. No, I, oh, I'm sure. It's got to be up there. <laughs> For first time triers, yeah. Now, I'm curious what happens if you try to start it again. Is it just like, ha ha, no sucker? Find out, Maury. <laughs> oh. I want to find out what's happening here. She's the one at Son of a bitch. For unleashing the virus. Seems to be evolving much faster than expected. You've got to be kidding me. God only knows what's down here. What the hell? It'll be <laughs> Apparently it's that. <laughs> what the hell? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Sherry, I'm coming. Mm, Ada. Ada. That's right. Ada. <laughs> So Tyrant was in the first game. Who like what's the enemy in this one called? I can't remember. Uh it's oh gosh, what does this one end with? I feel like it's a fight on a train. Hey hunk. That guy. It's like the end of like chapters of Alan Wake. Styrofoam son! Go to the product page? I already bought it. <laughs> Do you want to buy this game now? Oh, Tofu Chan. So Mr. let's see. If we try starting it again, what happens? Mr. X and William are apparently the two final bosses of the different things. You've already played this demo. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. You tried. Well, Grant, I will pass this over to you as you have brought in today's main course. Indeed. I'll actually jump over to my profile for it since I downloaded the DLC and stuff all there. Whoop. Now, this is a, a lengthy video game, not one I expect us to really see the whole thing of. Especially, you don't think we're going to complete it in 24 minutes? I mean, I don't think we could probably do that in the in the time of a, of a half-hour demo one-shot. But uh, this is Tales of Vesperia. Now, oh, this is a good sign. Oh, because the disc... That's weird. Well, maybe this won't start as I thought. It might be because, uh, oh, no, it says it's logged in as you. And that yeah. shouldn't matter because there's a disc. Yeah, it's a disc copy, so uh, shouldn't really matter. But maybe this won't work. I honestly haven't started this disc yet. I've been playing it on my Switch. PS4 is not region locked, so that shouldn't be an yeah. issue. And this is, a, am guessing, a North American release. Yeah, I got it off of Amazon. All right, now it seems like it's loading at least. The doing, music, his, doing his diligence. The music turned off. Well, hopefully this game starts. If not, let me tell you, it's my hey, favorite Tales go. game. Nice. Banco Namdi. Let me take you back to an age, a long distant, a, a long ago distant time. I want to say around 2009. Right. Uh, you know, ancient history and stuff, uh, where a video game called Tales of Vesperia graced the Xbox 360, <laughs> and it was as anime, anime bullshit as uh, you could. Ever hope to expect. This, expect. Seems, this seems like something I would really like when I was like 12, 13. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, I really liked it when I was 17, 18, uh, first playing it. Hell yeah. That's our main guy, Yuri. He's, he's a kick-ass dude. I'll let, he's I'll, also I'll a let dog. Him. Yeah, he's got his cool dog, Rapide. Uh, here's an NDA or whatever they're called. Uh, Eula. That's the word I'm looking for. 
Let's just let this place uh, spin us a, an anime yarn. Terka Lumeraz is the name of the world, so that's a that's a big that's name. A, that's a proper noun you might hear. Is a proper noun. I need to be uh, familiar with with tales of symphony. Mm, no, nah, not the really. One before this, I mean that that was one of the games before this. These these are kind of like fa Final Fantasies, and where they, they are, don't they are all kind of other. their own separate universes, but sometimes reference each other kind of stuff. Okay. Um, didn't realize that start was the start button. Who knew? Oh, good. They opened with that introduction. Because I feel like later on in the game, they just start talking about Terka Lumerez, and it's like, what the fuck is that? For the people are no match against the hordes of monsters I call the Earth. Your typical JRPG problem. I say bullshit. Just gotta grind harder. And yeah, once you start kicking ass, it does become a question of like, yo, if you guys could do this this quickly, how hard could it be? I'm glad we're getting the wiki so early. Yes. Now, the I think the great and most confusing part of this game is uh, there is a substance called air. It's not what you think. Is it like A-E-R? -E -E -R. Uh, and that's basically magic. Okay, so things are powered by air. So it's but like no, they are not wind powered. Or aether. <laughs> yes. But now air has been going out of control, and the monsters are fucking multiplying. So it's kind of like Final Fantasy IX, where this shit's like pumping around all throughout the air, and it makes monsters. Yes. Okay. And if humans breathe too much of it, it's very toxic. So now we've got these barriers, uh, which are also powered by air, but they turn it into good stuff for humans. Changeling, thank you for the 500 it bits, saying, wait, PS4 isn't region locked? Why am I learning this now? I don't know. I, I only learned it because Kieran and Grant seemed to uh, talk about it a decent amount back when I think, God, what was it? There was like the Russian version of a game was free. Or something. Yeah. And it was, yes, and it it came was out NAC early. 2. Mac, NAC 2. That's yeah, right. NAC 2 on the Russian PSN store was free. So just went in and got it the day it came out. By creating a Russian account. So we got these things called Blasty. Yeah, they're basically magic batteries. This dude's name is Flynn. He's he's a good man. I don't get it. What could have happened to the barrier in this town? It probably went down. Someone stole its Blastia, which is also what happened to this fountain! Oh my god, that's volatile. Looks like somebody was in there. I mean, it's where, it's where all the peasants get their drinking water, and now it's exploding. Oh, no, no huge loss then. She seems nonplussed by it all. I mean, she's reading her book. <laughs> Ugh, another exploding fountain. Oh, the common people well, and their no problems. Peasants. She has pink hair. She's important. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Let them drink lake. Spike. But good common man Yuri, he is he is not gonna stand idly by while the uh, while his people flood. And there's his kick-ass dog Rapide, who smokes a pipe. It's a good dog. It's a very good dog. <laughs> Wow, it is weird to see this with such a smooth frame rate. <laughs> Already throwing me off. Hey, Ted. This is uh, Troy Baker before he got way too expensive to be in JRPGs and anime. I just finished fixing it. What's the big deal? Just leave it to the mighty Imperial Knights. That's what they're there for. Thanks, Joel. The Knights? You know they never come to the lower quarter. Where we live. Flynn. I already tried to get Flynn. They wouldn't even let me see him. Oh, so I'm Flynn's replacement, huh? So uh, did they get some people to come back and reprise their stuff? Yes. Because so I noticed his audio quality yeah. is way different. So... Ted, Ted, you get down here. They need your help, too. That sounds like they're talking to us over a radio. <laughs> they're uh, talking to us over the dog. Yuri, come on already. The thing that's weird with Yuri is he was played by... Uh, Troy Baker before he got mm -hmm. you know famous, That's but weird. now he's famous and there's new scenes in this game and we can't get Troy Baker back. Oh no! Uh, and he's also got new comments during battle and we can't get Troy Baker back. So we have a replacement guy who, to his credit, does a fine doing his best. Doing his best, but man, like, but people notice. Yeah, no, you're gonna notice, and it's like it's real unfortunate because I feel like 
people are going to whine. I like your attitude. I feel like people are going to whine at that guy, and it is really not his fault. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm Troy Baker. How are you doing? And then, hey. Yeah, exactly. It's mostly the audio quality change, because clearly yeah. his stuff was not kept in a... They, they had a different <laughs> recording setup. Yeah, they might, might have a little bit of a, you know, it's an MP3. I like that dog's swishy tail. Mm, who needs to use stairs? Fucking Yuri Lowell. Yuri! <laughs> I will break help your you. ankle! I will help you, young boy. Now, it, I'd love to get us to the story and everything. The with the knights yesterday. Also, there's these skits the where you can talk to, breaks. you know, talk to your party. Like this every day does that dog have quarter? a pipe? Yes, he does. Oh, good. I'm so glad it only barks. Yes. <laughs> his former master smoked that pipe, and he inherited it. When, he, when his master died. <laughs> He's like, I'm like people now. Uh, but, so I got the DLC, so I can give Yuri some costumes. Uh, All so right, we can already play dress-up from get-go, which, if you know me, that's the thing that matters most to me in these games. Is gotta, <laughs> gotta love that they uh, make you do, like, select every single one. Well, because in Japan, you had to buy them individually. They at least let you just have them all now. We could be the guy from uh, Different Tales game. Okay. We could be him when he was a knight. All right. We could be him if he went to high school. Oh okay. my gosh, like where's his that? toast? AUs. We could be a villain from another Tales game. All right. That's looking very glam rock. He, uh, just be a wandering samurai. Mitsurugi, okay. Yeah. Uh, kick ass armor. That's, a, that's like a hero of light Final Fantasy I think style. That's, I think that's supposed to be what his final armor set is in the game. Uh, and the outfit he wore in the movie. Huh. Which I think I'm just going to rock for now. Movie. Yeah, movie exactly. movie threads. So, how many uh, swimsuits do the females have? Uh, so each, so every party member gets a swimsuit, and I think most of them also get a bath towel. That okay. might not be in this game. That might be in other ones, but normally it's a thing. What's going on? The mixing in this scene has never been good. <laughs> God, it's like it's like every scene with Android 17 with the Faulkner track. Oh yeah. The 17 always sounds like he's whispering you into the microphone. Bit, right? Yeah, you'd think that, but then it didn't happen. Like, I feel like all I had to do was just take the volume of the fountain down by, like, 60%. And the scene would sound fine. I love how you can hear when when it loops again. Because there's that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm terrified of water. <laughs> Panda Assassin, thank you for the 10 month resub, dude. Boop, holy cow, 10 months. Hell yeah, man. Thank you so much for the support. So, everybody in the poor town pooled their money together to get this fountain working again, and then the guy who was supposed to repair it, it screwed them over. Ah, oh, man, and they're trying to throw all the water back at the fountain. Yeah, so they're like, oh no, it. dump the. We gotta put this water, get this water out of the boat. Well, I'm I'm not really helping here. I don't know why I brought my sword. And so Yuri's like, so you fuckers just want us to clean this when the <laughs> guy who's responsible just ran away? That's the pretty gross people's boots being all up in the water that they're supposed to drink. I mean, you know, you do what you can. You can boil it when you take it home. Iman, yeah. thank you so much for the prime sub. Welcome to the team. This water is rushing at... Yeah, look at Ted just running around like... <laughs> Dangerous. This is terribly dangerous. Where are you throwing the water? <laughs> hey, they broke our battery. <laughs> now, see the thing I like, like, and this is stuff that won't, that won't really get to be shown off in uh, this brief time here. But what I like about Yuri, as far as other anime and RPG protagonists is he is one of the few characters who I think confronts the idea of like, yo, are you killing these bad people? And he's just like, yeah, some people should probably die. <laughs> uh, like, he's not, he is not this, oh man, this evil monster wants to take over the world, but I really don't want to kill him. He's like, no, fucking some people have got to die. <laughs> and like, whether or not I agree with that is a different thing entirely. But it's cool a character gets to act like that and still be the main dude. I agree that there is a limit to everything. Mm. There's a point at which, yeah, no, maybe that person shouldn't be around. I think there is a lot of complexity that can go into exactly. the issue. But there is always a limit. But I think, I, and I, I just like that it is not a character who is blindly naive of like, we can all be friends! Like, 
vague spoilers, but there are characters in the future who are like, ha ha ha, if you take this to court, there's no way it'll work. So in cover of night, he's like, then I'm just going to throw you off a bridge. <laughs> and it's like, fucking rad. Like, thank God. I'm just going to kill you then. What, what? No, no, no! It's a guy who you basically arrest, and he's like, Motherfucker, you know the courts can't do shit to me. And he's like, I know. Yep. <laughs> Just deals with it himself. And you're like, awesome. I wish more good guys in stories were allowed to do things like that. Yeah, Just pulling pull Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Thank you for the five-month resub, Zane. Five months, huzzah, keep being awesome, and a fugitive from reality. Thank you for the second-month resub. Happy to see you sticking with the team. You there! You there! Are you aware of the serious events going on in the world? Wow, the whole world? I don't know, man. Right here, right here, hey, it's your first side <coughs> quest. Bringing you the articles about what matters most every day. I'm not sure why, but this feels very dot hack. Morning, cup of coffee, okay. Just but with the speech what? bubbles and stuff. No, I can get that. that. I really like this game look because they went for like kind of a watercolor look that they never really do again in the series. And I think it looks really good in this. You can yeah. read it and whenever, wherever, like, I mean, obviously it's aged a bit, but it still, yes, I think, is a cool style. And by the way, let's let the fact that I'm in the wall be our little secret, okay? Well then, farewell. He sounds like Aladdin. <laughs> I was gonna say, Abu? He, I was gonna say he sounded a little bit like uh, uh, Eric Vale. Okay, you get that. It, like n not enough that I'm like, is that Eric Vale? But I'm like, that sounds similar. <laughs> Going for an Eric Vale type. Yeah. Hey, well, because I'm pretty sure they recorded this in Cali. So, I think so. I heard something about it breaking in that Pretty sure these games are almost always LA. It. That's right. I hear that lot went so far as to sell their treasures to save up the money. Treasures, sir? <laughs> Worthless junk. Nothing more. <laughs> Those damn poor no people. Gold for them. Not even one gold. Oh, okay. I, 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 okay, that's that's another thing. Like we were talking about yesterday with Fantasy Worlds. Just call it just call fucking it gold. gold. Yeah, no, I'm kind of in the same boat. Like I've played enough of these and gald or gald gald, however you want to say it. It's is, gil. Is, so. is 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 there is there universal currency in these games? It's always the thing. Great, Dane. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the team. And Cryptical88, thank you for the 15 hundo, saying, want to say, Grant, I've been enjoying your Let's Play of Vesperia on your YouTube channel. Was cool. wondering if there was any chance of uh, getting a full TFS plays treatment. I sincerely doubt it getting a full TFS plays treatment, because it is a very, very long game, and trying to get people wrangled together for that Fucking consistently bullseye. would be rough. So these guys were all going like, ha, those poor people wasted all their money and then they got ripped off, suckers. You can't the value so Yuri's junk, like, shut up, dumb cops. Just itself. throws rocks at them and they're down. It's, they're really shitty knights. Apparently. They kind even of had the bullseyes job. on their helmet. The big push of this thing is all about how, like, man, aren't <laughs> aren't first class people who uh, shit on poor people the worst? We are the 99%. So they've been taking blast you Nemo Everlight, too. thank you so much for the 14-month like prime sub. Feet. Thank you so much for the 14 for months of support, Nemo Everlight. Go missing, no one even makes a fuss. Oh yeah, you can tell this is not Troy Baker anymore. When just one is enough to throw the lower quarter yes. into chaos. Also because it's, despair, it doesn't sound like a really <laughs> crunched bit rate. Yeah. It's not a recording from 20 years ago, from 10 years ago. Found it. Ha <laughs> ha, good Found dog. It. Normally I would have a rule of playing out all the skits, but for a stream limited time we want to get to the action yeah, the want, meat of it i want to show why i like this game so much so this is where he lives <clears throat> yeah Chris, so i'm feeling a lot better right now it's just mostly anything that's left down there is trying to make its way out of me all the flam like yeah around. i still wake up with a bit of like a stuffy nose in the morning but i, wonder if I think that's just a byproduct i wonder if there's another way into this mansion camera slow I'll check it out. Is it open? Can I get in this way? Also not Troy Baker. <laughs> I take it this is just an extended scene that was uh, not in. It's there were a lot of scenes that didn't have no voice acting originally, and I think that's where they just started throwing it in. And then there are there are new scenes in this as well, but I think they went through and a lot of the old scenes that didn't have voice acting, they added it, which I appreciate. It's just unfortunate that <clears throat> It'll be clear hearing the difference in cast. Yeah, they didn't want to pay Troy Baker his one thousand dollars an hour. I mean, from what I've been told, he was never even approached. That must be. And oh. I can and I can understand that being a situation of like the marketing team or whatever, whoever's in charge of budget, just being like, 
we know we won't afford him, so don't even bother asking. Because he's been like on the record, like, I would have loved right. to come back. And yeah, I just got to pay my rate. Yeah, yeah, it's it's one of those things where I'm sure it's just, I'm sure you have an agent who would be like, oh, he doesn't work for less than this. And yeah, they're like, know, we right. can't do that. So, someone in the chat said he apparently uh, said he would have lowered his rate. Mm. But Hard seems, to say. It seems like they, they, they wanted to have best of both worlds where they kept Troy Baker's name, but like didn't uh, get him for our shits out of dialogue and yeah that seems a little Boy. cynical but red up cobalt thank you so much for the 2602 bits saying uh have some bits for all the joy you give uh, others also the, uh for the best game the doggo repeat is gone. kind of the best kick-ass dog like, jpop six five nine five thank you so much for the six month resub major whooping while we're at it oh yeah Burf. Burf. i can't remember i think i think when i listened to it though in japanese that Rapide did have a Japanese voice and an English voice. <laughs> so there are American ruff ruffs and Japanese ruff ruffs. Well, I mean, uh, they so they make you do that in like One Piece and stuff too. Yeah. Because there's an audio track that you have to cover. And you can't reuse all that shit. Yeah. My, my, how the mighty have fallen. Just what I needed. Tweedle A and Tweedle B. Just like anyway. These guys are like our Team Rocket. They kind of keep showing up. And, but they're yeah, never they're, the, they're never like a real threat. They're just like, we're going to arrest you because we're knights and we know you've been fucking around. They're those. They're the other sphere hunters from yes. uh, Final Fantasy X-2, so like the fat guy speak. and the skinny yeah. guy. Yeah. It's stuff like that that keeps you guys from getting promoted. <laughs> you did not just say that. I say, you take that back. Add, of course, says I say in like every sentence. Enough I expected the voice to be more like, I say <laughs> at that point then. Can I just skip this combat tutorial? I know how to do it. Though I've never had to do it on a PlayStation controller. I'll handle this in the name of the Imperial Knights. I say, Trintonin, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to Team Four Star. You're the peon. No, no, I say. I am your superior. That's not the voice I expect to come out of. Might be a thing where they just had sort of people just come in, do a voice. But this seems like a recurring character is the I'll thing. Just try to skip through. Hey, let's go. You ready? Who, who knows what the original superior. process was? Yeah. Focus. You are, I say, clearly my subordinate. I guess I just gotta whack these guys a little. Uh, there's a whacking. Ow! I know how to do moves. Ow! You Man, weren't even hit. You feel? Check this out. Hitting someone in the middle of an argument is hardly proper manners. Is this the one where if I skip the tutorial they just fall over? Damn it! They just trade guys. Oh brother. I don't think they traded guys. You stop right there! Does it look like I'm running? You be quiet! Oops, now learn how to block! But I'm just gonna skip that. <laughs> Got him! I can hear what the writer intended. Yeah. yeah. I say. I say, how dare you block my art? You're clearly. Yeah. Let's try that again. This next one's gonna hurt. Kelly AFU, thank you for the five hundo saying, hey, Grant, uh, you. Uh, no, Grant, you already, forget right? Velvet from Berseria oh, yeah. is a badass main character, maybe more than Yuri. No, she does like to kill, but she's. She goes too far in the other direction of the like, ugh, I'm this brooding, always angry, never happy person. And like, yeah, she's got a tragic backstory and stuff to back it up, but I like that Yuri is just this like, no, I kind of seem like your typical anime protagonist guy, but when like chips are down, I'm like, no, I'm, I'm okay. I understand sometimes tough decisions need to be made. Yeah, also Big Rich Pajamas, thanks so much for the prime sub. Welcome to the team. And Trintonin, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits, saying, thank you for all your hard work and all the entertaining videos that you make for us. Well, thank you so much for watching them, and thank you for the support. People in chat will remember I need to magic lens these guys. So there's a trophy if you magic lens every opponent uh, in the game, and that includes each individual appearance they have as, like, boss yeah, fights Frankenstein like Frankenstein Gate throwing out your emote there. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Frankenstein's Gate. You know what's up. I like that you have an emote there as a reminder. Yep. It was basically there for if people noticed I hadn't <laughs> marked someone yet uh, to just start spamming it. 
because you are an achievement hunter. That's true. Volus, thank you so much for the 25 month resub. Hot damn, that's two full years. Because Twitch adds a month, they consider the first month one month. Okay. Just for everybody who wonders why I say 13 and 25 are the year dates. So is this game considered an action RPG? I would say so. Like it. Uh, and and I I really like the combat. Like it starts off very simple and slow, but as it goes on, you get like different skills that let you add moves to your combos, let you like guard to cancel animations and stuff. So you start like getting really long, crazy looking combos. Leon Luis GJ, thank you so much for the prime sub. Welcome to the team. Back in the day, I, I had friends who really liked Tales of Symphonia. They were yes. really into it. Um, I wasn't, so I didn't know what was going on. But... <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like this is my favorite Tales game because I think it gets every piece of the puzzle the closest to the best it does. I think its combat is amazing. I think all of the party members are cool characters, and most of them are fun to play. Like, I will say the character design for the lead in Tales of Symphonia I think is probably stronger. Yeah, uh, I remember Lloyd is a really like cool really looking difficult. main character. And yeah. Two swords is always fun. Fugit from Reality yeah, drops 100 bits and say, hey, and uh, asks, hey Grant, does the doggo fight with you? Yes, the doggo is a party member. Ooh. And uh, if we have a second controller around, Lanny, you can be the I doggo. I have a second controller. Oh, shit. It's invisible, but it exists. Well, well, you've had a busy day, haven't you, Mr. Barbasa Bar uh, Barbalo Sandwich, thank you so much for the 21 month resub with Twitch Prime. They've been up on that, hot damn. Right Gentlemen, that make Flynn's job so difficult. Yuri Lowell is so close to Yuri Lowenthal. I know they wouldn't even let him audition for the character. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he had voiced the main character in the previous Tales games, so they're like, "We're not gonna let you get another one." But it also happened to be named Yuri Lowell. Like it's almost like they named it after him. <laughs> and that's the Japanese doing it. Yeah. It is fun to hear it in Japanese. Yuri Lowell. The thief made off. <coughs> I know, I know. Then he was caught and the loot was returned, right? No. See, that's just nobility trying to keep Omega Watch quiet. dropping two under the saying this was their first game on the 360 and it was their favorite. Also wanted to say how You're great you guys are way. and how much you guys lighten my day. Keep being awesome. Thank you so much, Thanks, Omega Watch. This is probably my favorite 360 game too. Hey. Usagi yeah, Bika, thank you so much for the 14 month the resub. Wish I could enjoy the Tales series, but I couldn't get past the combat. Item limitations and characters in the <clears throat> ones I played. Mm. They do. Time. That is a weird thing that these games do like to do, where it's like you can only hold ten of each item. And you're like, oh, I could weird. really have a hundred healing items and not have to waste time going hey, to a shop. You're Paladin right? Boris, thank you so much for the yeah, twenty-four yeah. month Prime resub. Hot damn. You think that little story up all by yourself, old man? You must have plenty of time on your hands. Old man. Now you've gone and hurt this old man's feelings. Besides, I didn't make up nothing. I've got eyes and ears the world over digging up information for me. This guy also seems like he should have had an accent. Old man. I really hey, like I how he is I played, am. though. Okay. Like, he, he, he ends up joining your party you later, and, it's, okay. and, and he's real good. Want to know about the pirate guild's sunken treasure? How about the sorcerer who makes his home at the ends of the earth? Or wait, I've got it. I just want to know how to get out of here. Well, I'm not sure what you're in for, but they'll let you out if you keep your trap shut for ten days. The lower ten days? Will be underwater by then. The lower quarter. Ah, uh, yeah, I heard about that. The sunken yeah. treasure of the <laughs> lower quarter. Everyone's Sorry, drowning and down there. I don't have. And what am I gonna do about that damn Mordio? The Mordio? You mean to say you've got connections to the famed mage from Ospio, the city of scholars? Proper nouns. Oh, do you know about him? Oh. -ho. Apparently. Oh, huh? I'm afraid that information won't come cheap. The famed mage from Ospio, the city of scholars, right? I think I got it. That's not it. You told me where to find him, dumbass. Boy. Someone's walking. It's been 10 days, you're good to go. Out. Oh well, just when things were getting good. Hurry up. What is Commander Alexei doing here? It is weird for me, like, thinking about all this stuff. A lot of these are characters who are introduced properly way later. And they Alexi, are, play Disposito. They, they are doing a lot of, here's this character, and we're giving you their name. Try to remember them in 30 hours. 
What are you doing? It's the I problem with any, up. like, uh, especially as, like, a somebody who's GMing. Uh, like, you create a character, and it's like, eh, they probably won't show back up for a bit. Hope people remember them. There have definitely been characters that have, uh, that Zito's been like, do you remember this guy? And I'm like, I know he happened, but, uh, I'd be lying if I said I really remember much. Yeah. And it's like, you know, nothing to say about Zito's ability to create characters or anything. It's just, man, when you're introduced you to a lot of characters, it's and hard to keep them all straight. And go back to one a year later. Yeah. It's, it's tough to keep it straight. Ever vigilant as usual. With the way he's sleeping, it'll be a while before anyone notices I'm gone. If I come back before morning, I'll never be wiser to my little jailbreak. I think I can check on the lower quarter and make it back by morning. Yeah, as long as nobody comes yeah. by and checks. Statue of the goddess, too. Save points. Save points. Oh, man, they're really making me not move until I save. Going, hey, by the way, this is what save files are. There's also a trophy for hitting every save fi or save spot. Really? Oh yes. wow, that guy's real good at his job. You got your equipment back. <laughs> real good at his job. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just gonna skip some of these scenes that don't have any actual. Well, now they know you got out. Yeah. Right. By the way, I got caught. And you're just murdering guys. Yeah. So now it's just, hey, guess what? We're gonna. You have to scan them, Grant. <gasps> you're right. I mean, luckily I don't have to scan that dude I just killed because they're both the same thing. Oh, I've all got... I didn't buy magic lenses at the store earlier, so... Oh, no! Hopefully somebody drops some. They're one-and-done uses? They yeah, are a one-use item. But they cost, like, nothing. So that's sort of like the trade-off. Is It's it's there to... A lot of this game encourages you to keep going back to shops because you can level up weapons and get stuff out of them. You buy, you buy food to eat after every fight, uh, and that runs out over time. I will say, I do enjoy games that allow you to level up the gear that you use. Yeah. I, I always hated the idea of, oh, well, now I'm going to, you know, switch to a different... Oh. I always hated the idea that I have to switch to a different piece of gear every time uh, I get, like, you know, you, in order to get better, you have to switch to new gear. Yeah, no. Like, that still does happen in this game, but it's like each gear has, like, a skill it will teach you. So you want to use it and then, like, synthesize it to make another weapon that will teach you yet another skill. That kind of stuff. Right. I, I'm trying to figure out how to get you guys to like be correct on the thing, but it's actually really difficult. I was gonna say I don't know if there really is a good. Yeah, way to mine's do it. mine is mirrored, so. Yeah, like no matter what. Like <laughs> <laughs> there we go, perfect. Invisi couch. Oh. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's the weird. Like it's it's weird to get, get to try to get you guys in there correctly. <laughs> that doesn't help at all. Well, we were just force ghosts there for a second. It's happening here. We've walked into a room and we've stumbled upon this scene already in progress. Why don't we just go back? I can't go back now. This is for your own good, miss. You know that. As for the incident, we assume full responsibility. I don't know if you're allowed to say that these days. <laughs> How can you say that when you haven't done anything to help me? Please, okay. Don't come any closer. Jesus. Now, now, why don't you put that down? Come on, little lady. You don't need to do that. I'm a knight. A oh shit, she I'm does. You leave us no choice. Oh fuck. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. Hmm, maybe there is some unrest in the uh in the House of Nobles hey, too. This way. Huh. She say Flynn? <gasps> Maybe. Hey! Flynn, you came to help me? Who, who are you? Don't worry, I'm buddies with Flynn. It's cool. Identify yourself. Why don't you use a fucking lens? I'm your fucking former prisoner, you dumb dumb. Somebody left a key. Just when I thought I was being sneaky, things have to go. We went and what? murdered like four people, Yuri. You killed four guards. I can't imagine that was quiet. Shouldn't be a problem if we take them together. Oh God! Let's see, I can go in. I can do different directions with my sword swings to swing them differently and get different combos. Is there a limit to how many actions you can take before they act? So uh, it's not so much a limit between actions. It's that 
you kind of catch them, and like certain moves don't do as much hit stun, so they can interrupt you if oh, you try okay. to combo things that aren't going to work. Uh, and you normally get, I want to say, like two to three just normal hits, and then you can do an art, and then eventually you'll start learning advanced arts, which you can follow up a base art with. So it just, like, okay. your combos start getting super long by the end of the game, and there are people who make fucking crazy, no, entirely unnecessary a combo, combo videos for these characters. That's like, well, nothing in the yeah. game is ever challenging enough to merit doing this, but they get like but 800 get like, hit combos. Yeah. That's absurd. And you know that the game was built to encourage that because you eventually get skills that set your damage to one, so you don't do much damage. And it's just, I just want to get a long ass combo going. Gotcha. Poor Bocos. My ears. Or Bacchus. You're one of Flynn's friends, aren't you? Yeah. That's the name of our group, Why? Flynn's friends. And you used to belong to the Imperial Knights. The Knights belonged to me. <laughs> the Knights belonged to no one. <laughs> Guess he managed to find someone at the castle he could talk to after all. Yuri, I need to talk to Flynn. Hold on just a second. Who are you supposed to be, anyway? I can tell you know Flynn, but I'm being chased by the knights. Over here! Listen, I want to hear the whole story, but we can't really afford to stand around and chat. First things first, let's get to Flynn's place. Want me to lead the way? Uh, yes. Let's go. Unfortunately, she doesn't join the party just yet, so you don't have a playable character at the moment. Oh, that's not the way to go. Yikes. Yikes, don't go this way either. I like how his sword is basically just a briefcase. Oop. Yeah, he like he carries his uh his sheath, which I which I dig. It's a cool look. Seems inconvenient though. Yes. <laughs> Touch. But he also uses it as a weapon sometimes. Okay. So it works out. Because he'll just oh, swing it and then pull the sword out. Oh yeah. Isn't the knight's dining hall around here? I'm hungry. In case you've taken a bunch of damage during your fights. Oh, that's what that's supposed to mean. You can come in here and go, mmm. Curry. Delicious curry. <laughs> Not bad. Ah, uh, delicious Middle Ages Western European curry. curry. <laughs> this game has a cooking system in it, and I love it because it's basically if you start learning different recipes. <laughs> that fucking guy. If you start learning different recipes, they can shift into related recipes. It's like, all right, you've learned how to make the Scottish egg. Now we'll teach you how to make this thing based off of the Scottish egg. And it's just like these weird extensions off of stuff. Like I think if I, oh man, I know if, if I know he, I know if he makes curry enough times, it starts becoming beef curry. And then from uh -huh. there, you can start adding different stuff to the beef curry to make like Salisbury steak or something weird. That's something that I always enjoyed in Final Fantasy 15. Just getting, uh, I don't remember his name. I Ignis? Is Ignis, that? yeah. Yeah, just getting him to cook really cool shit and Man, having it be that monster hunter style delicious looking food. Yeah. Also cup noodle. Yeah, also a delicious cup noodle. <clears throat> I was going to skip a bunch of fights, but then I remembered a boss fight happens after this and it would really suck to be stuck there. Black Iris Balloon, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Sorry I missed your message, man. I think they were saying that that it's uh, their birthday today. Oh, oh, is it? Well, happy birthday to you! You share you share a birthday with my puppy. He was on here enjoying his treat earlier. If, if you like, I can read the whole message. It's a little long. Yeah, no worries. But if that was the if that was the gist of it, thank you so much for the support and happy birthday. We also want wanted to thank TFS for keep for helping uh, keep them going. Um, they've been in a funk since they broke up with their girlfriend some months Aww, ago, but man. episode 60 and the cover of Day of Fate really helped bring them out of it and fo focus on their studies as an audio engineer. Awesome, That's man. So they wanted to thank you for that. Well, thank you, and keep going. Life, oh, life has its challenges, mm -hmm. but they're worth powering through. Plus, free run. Right around his back. Glad to see so, everybody else in the chat also thinking, when thinking about cooking in, in this kind of game, thinking yeah. about Final Fantasy. 15. That's, That's it. That's it. That's it. I've come up with a new, new recipe. <laughs> also, every I think every major city in this game has the Wonder Chef, and he disguises himself as something Ooh. in in the city. So you kind of have to do a little prop hunt and be like, that windmill shouldn't be in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Blackout4465, thank you for the 24-month resub. Almost two years. Hot damn. Considering which direction. 
So there, there's a there's a chef that's just like Gene Parmesan in in Arrested he's Development, really just always showing up, up in a different costume. And whatnot. <laughs> I mean, he's always wearing the same costume, but he always disguises himself as an object for a second. Oh, okay. So, you know, you see the object, you go, wait a minute, and then there's a puff of smoke, and then there's a new model standing there. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. And he's like, you found me, the Wonder <laughs> Chef, and he throws away his glasses every time, and it's great. <laughs> right. Me? So it's more like Tony Wonder from Arrested wrong. Development. Yeah. Ah. And yet a bunch of knights were chasing you around the castle. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, Hi. I'm the prisoner. See? Yuri. Whoa. What is it? I can't be specific, but Flynn is in terrible danger. I've got to go and warn him. Captain so Skyhawk, you thank you so much for the six-month prime that? resub. Love I you too. I knew. And thank you kindly, Listen, man. I've got something I've got to take care of right away too. As soon as things quiet down outside, I want to get back to the lower quarter. In that case, would you take me with you, please? Other than Flynn... Every big adventure has a camera. small start. Will you at least help me get out of the castle? And a girl with pink hair. Uh, please. Yes. I'm begging you. <sighs> okay, I can see you're serious, but why don't you tell me your name first? <laughs> That's a strange name. <laughs> I expected a zombie. Well... <laughs> okay, kinda. We got this guy. Oh to man, what pro tag school did he fail out of? <laughs> he looks very much like a Yu-Gi-Oh character. He looks yes. like a he looks like a Squenix character. Look at all his belts. Some unholy no abomination. King. That's really. He's like if Rob Liefeld was Japanese and designed <laughs> Squenix characters. <laughs> Zagi, what a name. Yeah, Zagi. Invictus the Nerd, thank you for the nine month resub. It's been a while since I caught one of your streams live. I'm glad to be subscribed to you guys. Happy to have you with us. Thank you. I dig the weapons there. Oops, I missed. You trying to run around to get me attacked behind? But oh yeah, the music uh, balance on this. What's the lens thing? Yeah. Oh, the magic lens? I don't think I have any. Yeah, I'm out. Oh, no. So we won't be scanning this guy. I'm guessing this guy's I mean, recurring, though. He is, but unfortunately, the way this game works is each instance of a boss oh, counts no. as a separate entry in your So thing. you'll never get that so, achievement. So I can't get this guy on this, well, on this run, unfortunately. Yeah, I guess we're not we're not, we're not planning on completing this run anyway, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Don't I'm worry. I'm, I'm sure I'll have a file at my at my own leisure at my apartment that'll that'll have everything I need. Yeah. Eat some apple jelly. Yeah. This combos are longer than I expected. That's pretty good, Grant. Looks like you might need it to grind. You're right. I did skip a lot of fights on my way here that I normally don't skip. Okay. Got him, though. Got at least a phase two. Now I feel it. You feel what? I'm not feeling anything over here. What's that? I can't hear you over the music. It's okay, Piccolo. You don't have to fight me like this. Hello, Dr. Shiro. Oh boy. No, I have a little buckler. Bring it. The more the merrier. The things get out of hand. I don't know, she's, she's got a saber. Oh, don't give up so soon. This is weird. She seems like she'd be the one who needs to do like the one hand mm -hmm. like finesse fighting. Mm -hmm. Alright, so how does this work? Let's, let's see if I can let you play or if it'll let you. Hold on, I have to turn this on first. I will be the couch since it's already logged in. Go for it. Uh okay, cool. All right, so the only spell you have is first aid. Gotcha. Uh, which will be X. Circle is your basic attack. X going to give it to you. Gotcha. Uh, circle is your basic attack. Square is guard. Uh, hold L2 if you want to free run. Otherwise, you will always run in a straight line towards or away whoever you're targeting. Gotcha. And how do I target you? Uh, you unfortunately cannot target. Uh, uh, if you're, yeah, if you're first doing aid. Uh, first aid, I think D-pad as you hold X to charge your spell, I think you can... It'll have like an arrow by our heads down there okay. to tell you who you're pointing cool. at. Which, oh geez, you're already starting it. I think the AI did that. Oh boy, I'm working on it. I'm charging it. All right, and then just let go, I think, to use it. There we go. There you go. I don't play the healers a lot, so their controls I'm not 100% on. There you go. I am worth a dozen apple you're, jellies. You're doing it. But yeah, when the when the thin line is around her, that means you don't need to charge it anymore, basically, like that one. 
Yeah, but that's when I need to select the person. Gotcha. Luckily, he seems really focused on me, so you can just kind of focus on healing, which is normally what I set her to do anyway. Yeah, come on, holy power. Now I'm going to help, because you have there. a lot of health. Ha! Ha! Oh, no. I know her attacking is significantly slower, but... It seems that way. How do you block? Uh, square. Square, gotcha. Now, can we, like, combo him if you get him into us? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Oh, sumoed out of the ring. Beat the shit out of him. Did we do... Yes, we did the secret mission! Yeah! So, a lot of boss fights have secret missions. Our secret mission on this one was to not let you fall below half health. And we didn't. I did it! I didn't get hurt. And I leveled up! Don't worry, Mistake. We'll, we'll get Lanny off the healing roll as soon as uh, another character joins the party. As soon as I can play a dog. It's true. Details, details. Bring it! I don't care who's Flynn and who's not Flynn. I just want to kill Flynn. It's basically that is this character's motivation. The knights are on to us. Oh boy! Don't give me bad news. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Mind your own business. I'm just getting to the best part. Hurry. I'm just really tired. Get here. Or would you rather have your fun? Oh fuck that guy. I guess he wasn't important. He <laughs> looked important. We should be getting a move on too. Oh, he just walked out of the. Okay. Just left his. He murdered his buddy <laughs> and then left. We'll just go pay a visit to the goddess and be on our way. Yuri. There's a goddess statue. That's the exit. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say we're gonna we'll go talk to the goddess real quick. Nah, the the one guy who we were talking oh, to in our cell as he was right. walking out, he says like, "Look to say, the goddess. She'll show you the way out." Estelise. Well then, Estelise. Let's get moving. Wait, that we can't sure just leave the door like that. We start Why calling not? her Estelle. Okay. I really don't think this is the time to worry about something like that. But Estelise is her actual name, but quick backstory for her. She's uh, a very sheltered oh, noble and hasn't really had any actual friends. And we start calling her Estelle because it's just a pet name for her. And she's like, I love it. No one's ever given me a nickname before. Yay. There, good as new. No, it only took on. me 20 minutes to repair that door. <laughs> She's a very prim and proper noble woman. She's not going to let us just leave a door unhinged. Ah, oh, you're not considered part of our party yet? I think I think you get a change of clothes here soon, and then they let you actually play. CG, that's exactly what I was thinking of, like Dagger from Final Fantasy IX. So the more I think about it, it's probably my favorite Final Fantasy. Nine? I've, Nine's I've, a really heard, good I've heard really good stuff about it. I never played it, though. This I kind of want, like, more than a HD remake of 7. I want one of 9. Yeah. There, now you're actually part of the proper party with your uh, with your new attire. Yeah, let's see. Check out what that outfit looks like. Castle healer, okay. Uh, I can get you some DLC, though. And we can, Ooh, boy. We can, we can get you some new costumes. Oh, yeah. Uh, and you can tell me which ones you want to wear. Because when we play dress up, you decide what your character yeah, her, wears. Her character's not really my type, so... So we got Castle Healer and Healer. Those look the Regular. same. Gotcha. You can be this this outfit. Okay. Change your hair color a little bit. Oops. I keep forgetting that. It's the bumpers that rotate. Campus tomorrow. royalty. Okay. Here's so your high know. school alternate universe outfit. Uh, The a villain pope? of a different Tales game. The Pope, yes. Uh, Soul Calibur Girl. Okay. Kind of looks like a Dragon Quest outfit. Maybe. A bit. I think that's your final armor Regal set. fairy princess attire. And uh, when you were a knight. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's fine. The Everybody's nice. Very pretty. And, uh, you know, if, if you want, we can also make her... Oh, we can't make a display character yet. That's an item we get later. Gotcha. Hey. Oh, hey, whatever. Are, are, you, are you someone to fight? Let's get this over with. I'm helping. And there you are. Oh, jeez. Here you go. I'll help. Ow, I jumped. Uh, yes, if you guard and press up at the same time, you will, you will jump. And eventually, you get a bunch of stuff that's like based on doing we stuff out of jumps. Them I finished them off. Huh? I helped. Oh, I feel so powerful. Hey, 
he's leveled Look up. Look how strong I is. Level ups in this game are, are luckily fairly simple. They uh, not a lot of like decide where stat points go. It's kind of just straight buffs. <clears throat> I like RPGs like that. Me too. Like I used to be really into the I decide what all my stats do every level, but like that's that's a lot of micromanaging. <laughs> I got a little worked up. We're already getting so strong. Too powerful. Which is good. I, I, I accomplished in that combat what I wanted to do, which is healing myself a little. <laughs> yeah, you, th you gave yourself a little bit more health. I opened up a shortcut. Everything's going great. Oh, good. Now we can get the back to the bonfire easier. Exactly. When we get to those save points, it'll be so much simpler. So was this? do you think this was a good little brother game for some people? Just just like this jump. seems like it would be a good little brother I game. I definitely did play this with my little brother, uh, and, and he definitely preferred the magic characters who just kind of got to stand back and hold a button and We're do done. cool shit. Right. Because uh, eventually, yo, your spells get bonkers. <clears throat> and the magic girl in this one, Rita, is kick-ass. Nice. She eventually starts summoning meteors to fall onto Ooh. the earth and stuff, which is always exciting. <laughs> Couldn't even get a second spell off. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Mm, not exactly. No. Mm. I just kill a lot of people. Her bit is she kind of doesn't understand jokes. Ah. So she's basically Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy. Exact same character. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yes, she is Drax. Exactly. Do you want those chests or those... Uh, oh, yeah. I should, actually, I, is now that I think about it, I wonder if it'll let me. Yes, it's, it's going to have to have some sort of secret. It doesn't look like there's anything particularly secretive about it. Maybe if we moved it, there'd be a hidden passage or something. You don't hint, think... player. Well, we won't know unless we give it a try. Yeah, that's great. Let me open these boxes first. There's apple gel. There's more. There's some orange gel. Get some vitamin C. I've grabbed. Oh wait, I have to push one. Yeah, you would have fallen in yeah, if you did right. that way. What do we have? Hey, do, 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 do. Looks like the old man was right. Do you think this will lead outside? I can't guarantee it. Well, I'm going down. How about you? So, does this one of those anime games that has like waifus for all occasions? Uh, yes. Like this one's kind of the little sister protector we, type. We, we got this protect like little sis that you want to protect. That's pretty uh, Rita, the magic girl, is your sundari. Like, uh, I don't have to go with you, Baka. But you know, secretly is a big friend and loves everybody in the party. Right. Uh, and then the other girl, you got like your your sexy like you know sexually empowered girl. There uh, we who go. Joins you later. Like a femme fatale. Yes. Let me take a look at She wields a spear. And You're it's Lulu. Really cool. She's she's your dragoon in the party, so she gets a bunch of air combos and it looks real cool. Every every game needs a Lulu. Oh. Hey, I'm I'm sorry. I, I'd never seen a blast deal like that. I, I I wasn't thinking. That's really all it was? That's really all I just it wanted was. to break your wrist. I just grabbed your hand, I'm sorry. Better. No, it's the least I could do. Yes, the people in chat saying Judith is okay, best girl. She's go. she is our our sexy kind of half elf looking girl. I want to say she's got pointy ears. So there are monsters down here too. Monsters. That's a happy little rat. That's what these things are. You've never seen one before. They're right below your palace. <laughs> <laughs> They've been living here this whole time. Right, let's Squeak. Take care of this, shall we? He's like a little ball of mochi. Yuri, they're coming from the front too. Ah, uh, this is annoying. <laughs> Squeak. Uh, okay, they're introducing this mechanic. Don't get sloppy. So if there are two enemy encounters that are close to each other, it just combines them into one big fight, which I vastly prefer. Yeah, oh, yeah you don't have any like, sword <laughs> yet, so you can't throw stuff on the end of your combos. Her little sword flip there. She's yeah, got to make sure she's got her flail in before she first Next aids you. Week? But can you really? Never mind. Just stop just, it. Just, look, you you dumb sheltered girl. It's gonna be fine. Did they not teach you jokes? 
You generally have to defeat each monster one I'm pretty one. sure at one point he raises a hand for a high five and she does not know what to do. Don't hit me! We be careful when we go ahead. <laughs> you can take on a monster one at a time or take them on in a group. Your choice. Yuri, which way do you think we should go? <clears throat> to that Whichever, chest, probably. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> My chest? They also get a lot of anime mileage out of Judith being the girl on your team with big boobs. Okay, and, good. And the rest of your team not having them. And one like she does a jump move in one of the finishing things, and a character goes, they just keep bouncing. And then you just hear Estelle go, I wish mine bounced. Ha. I'm sure it's not new for this game, but I never noticed that it leaves like a trail underneath my little energy blasts. Hey, see that little scorch there. It'll be a hundred years before you. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me, because you've lived a lot longer. Huh. No. I have a life bottle. False. There are your Phoenix Downs. Sorry if I hurt you. I'm gonna take a stab at it and say we're probably not gonna get introduced to that character in this stream. Pro pro probably not. Yeah, I that's a shame. Did forget that this intro is a little short or is a little longer than I remember. Yeah, I beat you in the next week. I feel power. No, I'm done. No, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna skip that. I feel power running through my body. Oh, there's those magic lenses I need. So, uh, do you have any like prominent memories of just being like, oh my god, shut up? Yes. Uh. This game does have a lot of repeated, uh, like, victory, like, win screens and stuff. Mm -hmm. And there are definitely a few that's just like, okay, we we get it. For uh, some reason, like, it's fine if it's just a generic tough guy thing. It's lame to hear the first time, but over time, you, it's, like, white noise. Mm -hmm. But if it's a joke, it's together. extra, like... Yeah. Yeah. No, there, <laughs> there are definitely... trying to in, in entertain people less. There are definitely quite a few uh, in this that are like, hey, this bit's going to be, like, four lines long. You've learned first day? No, I learned server strike. Okay, I was gonna say, because then I, I, I'm not gonna have much to do. <laughs> Don't worry, Yuri never learns how to heal. That'll be all you, well, I guess technically I do get a move that has like a vampire right. kind of effect of it, but. And we're getting shit to make stuff. We got crafting things. Anything you like in an RPG, this game's got it somewhere probably, other than I guess real character building that uh, all the stuff in this is kind of built for you, you kind of get your classes based on each each teammate that joins the party so and i'm guessing the way you learn combat skills is by hitting things pretty much uh and and just like when we when we kill this guy it'll show We're done. so you get xp and lp which is like okay. uh i can't remember what the l learning the L points or whatever yeah basically uh, and just gets I always you, just fill in my own. Yeah. Gets you new techniques. That's how that works. Oh, you have to pull it back with that There way. we go. Yeah. Sure 150 gal. Got all the monies now. Sorry if I hurt you. At least it's not like uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Rex just saying the same. I like your attitude. I like your attitude. I'm, let's show him a thing of three. Hey, here's some sharpness. Yeah, you, now you can buff. Now you can give boosts to attack power. It, it, is Xenoblade the one with uh, Shulk? I'm like, I'm really feeling it. Yeah, yes. that's the that's the first Xenoblade Chronicles. Okay. Yeah, and and two, Rex was the continuation of one of my favorite uh, RPG series, Xenogears, Xenosaga, and then Xenoblade. I I never played the first one, and I tried out the second one because I'm like, yeah, that could be neat. And plus, I like Switch. big titty anime waifus, so it's got those. <laughs> and then it's just no, no. Main character did not like it. Kind of difficult to like, but there are plenty of people out there who love it. And hey, more power to them. Yeah. Yeah, lazy samurai. There's a bunch of tales, character popularity polls because Japan loves those. Yuri won it so many times they had to stop putting him on the list because it's just well we know he's gonna get first place. <laughs> Who's your second oh, favorite morning. character? I wasted an entire night. Looks like it led to the royal quarter. Everything looks so 
different from the windows of the castle. Still no Cosmos oh, in Xenoblade on. 2? She is. Like She's in there. Is there like a costume for her or something? Uh, no. She's uh, one well, of the I... unlockable blades. Ah, okay. So it's kind of like one of those uh, just take a walk outside whenever oh, she wants. Fuck? Soul Eater type things where your blade has a persona. Yes. Okay, yes. You're right. Well, hey, at least we made it out of the castle. High five, am I right? <laughs> Boop. Uh, was that not right? No, it's yeah. fine. So, Estelise, yeah, whatever. <laughs> what are you gonna do now that you're? It's out? really awkward. You just kind of touched to my palm. It, it, you know it does show went? a disturbing lack of like any in day, intuitive knowledge, because like, nice who's the first thought when they see someone holding your hand? Holding out, their hand up is wants to... you to reciprocate something. Is oh, your, their finger? Thing. I'm poking the, the palm. Of the Empire, yes, that's why I'm going to the city of blossoms, Halor. Halor is the first place that knights traditionally visit on a pilgrimage. So cool. That's, so so that's where Flynn's probably going to be. So we'll head Have to Visayne. Have you the barrier? Yeah. A little while back. I'd like to go, but I can't just leave the lower quarter like it is. Come on. I'll show you the way out of town. Need to get a new battery. The lower quarter. Thank you. We need to get our magic battery working again. And, well, you seem rich. I love NPCs in games that just like stand that in kinda, the middle of nowhere. Yeah, just, just slightly well, move. Well, guess all me on. Place to place. Guess I'll move to the middle of the street. Oh, I guess, guess I need to go this direction. Seeing the wider shots, I do see what you mean about the watercolor aesthetic. Yeah, and I, I really like how this game looks. And honestly, seeing the smoother frame rate is making me appreciate appreciate it even more because I'm. It makes me more surprised that you've never tried uh, Valkyria Chronicles because they actually like, yeah they, have that they, they kind of have a similar look. And knowing you also like Fire Emblem, it seems like one of those things you would have gotten into at some point. I feel like it was just the. This is gonna sound stupid as hell because it's really not a good reason at all. Uh, but I feel like it being like guns and tanks and stuff made me immediately be like I'm less interested. Huh. Like, the stuff I like about Fire Emblem is like, we're riding unicorns and dragons and shit, and we got swords. Like, as soon as you involve guns and tanks, I'm like, eh, you're getting too real to actual war. And I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we got to get you to at least try Valkyria Chronicles. First, you pick up one of these, then go like this. Bullseye! Oh, wow. Let's get to Two shot. Quarter. Two birds, one stone. And they'll never try again. <laughs> and we've stopped them forever. They'll be back. Take that, Biggs and Wedge. Yes, very much so. My thought was Timon and Pumbaa. <laughs> That's essentially what Biggs and Wedge are in yeah, Final Fantasy. Larry and Bob the Tomato. Josel2486, thank you for the six month or eight month resub. Hey, Woo! I'm Estelise. Wow, they got rid of all that water. All that splashing paid off. Mine, but now we are all parched. There's no and drinking more water. Importantly, uh, about those imperial knights, the most <laughs> busy looking for you haven't paid any attention to our fiasco down here. So you've really managed to tick them off. I don't remember Biggs and Wedge in uh, Final Has Fantasy 15. Sure did. They At least they didn't stand out. Bag. Yeah, I mean, what happened to it? I mean, Sid. I remember that one guy who looked fucking like Hurley from Lost, who yeah, got, who got like who was like a side quest giver. We'll pick it up later. So are Biggs and Wedge meant to be nice named after the two it. most Star famous Wars pilots in Star yeah. Wars? Okay. You met Mr. Morio. Yeah, but the Wedge Antilles town. and really Biggs, Luke's friend who fucking Lost dies in Episode Four. Yeah. Left town. And right. then they never really talk about him afterward. <laughs> Rip. So. Rip this Biggs. Was empty, and I doubt he... What about Dak, man? Looks like the Dak, I mean, finally stopped leaking water. what about Chuck Porkins? Well, <laughs> Cork Porkins man. is still one of my favorite YouTube edits. Yeah. He's like flying be. around with the McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't I can't hold it. it. The, the, the shot that really gets me in that, in that YouTube edit is when he's with Darth Vader and Yoda and Obi-Wan at the end. It's the Force yeah. Ghost. And the Knights <laughs> oh, Porkins. So I'll go get it back from the thief myself. What? You aren't thinking of following Morty Obi on the barrier, are you? Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Apparently, Biggs and Wedge show up in the arena. Okay. It's a good or the Aranea. Or Don't the Aranea. Or with Aranea, sorry. Huh? What do you mean by that? Hmm. 
I don't remember the Aranea crew, but I'd be lying if I said I remembered much from Final Fantasy XV. Yeah. And that's not really an indictment. I really enjoyed my time I, with it. I loved it's playing just, it. It's just it the went in my brain and out my so ears. I cannot remember the story for the life of me, but that's because half of it wasn't told. Yeah, I, I heard that they were going to edit it to make it better, so I actually stopped playing. And then I never started it. Yeah, come apparently back. the Royal Edition came out, and there's like a whole bunch of other stories and stuff in it, and I just. The fact that, like, your main rival character in it dies off screen and you have to find that in a newspaper clipping clipping bugged the shit out of me. It's, it's very similar to Phantom Pain, uh, Metal Gear, in where, like, it's not finished. Yeah. Um, Which is weird for how long that game was in development. He, well, that's the thing. At one point, apparently, uh, Nomura, Tetsuya Nomura, walked in uh, <laughs> after seeing Le Miserable and... Uh, the demanding that he make, make Final Fantasy 15 a musical. <laughs> Look, man, the guy gets feelings and he doesn't let him go. Oh, man, that makes me wonder if there's going to be more musical numbers in Kingdom Hearts 2. They said three the songs three. from Frozen are going to be in it. Are they? Yes. Oh, yes. Man, why can't they just oh. let it go? Let it. I think let it go is in the game. Good. I can't wait for all the VOD mutes. Here's the thing. I think that Primary Karma, thank you for the 25 month resub. Ev everybody, everybody shits on uh, the the Little Mermaid world in Kingdom Hearts 2 because it's all singing. Here's what you do. I you, love that. World. You don't make one world all singing. You put a song in each world mm. from the movie, and then you just and, have a musical number in each world. And don't make them bullshit songs that sound like garbage. <laughs> Swim this, this way. This way. Yeah. Sad, sad. Oh. We'll play. <laughs> you can tell like the lyrics barely match the meter. <laughs> they can barely keep up. Fools, you're in my way. And also the quick time event barely matches the music. Yeah, yeah it doesn't at all. Anyway, what just happened is uh, the knights came into the, the poor house looking for Yuri, and they all stormed the knights so we could have a clean escape. They're like, we're just all going to talk to the knights. You just sneak out back. Should this be making me nauseous? Yes, it is. I mean, it's like you're in a crowd and it's shaking, right? Isn't that what this? That's how crowds work. A map. Wait a sec. This only has the roads written on it. What That's really a shitty map. It's better than nothing, considering people don't normally leave the city. You'll have to fill in the empty spaces on your own. First off, you should head for. You have to draw your own map. That voice almost sounds like Sinter Nicholas, but not quite. Kind of. Just barely not. I think the game I'm most looking so forward much. to right now Honestly, is uh, probably thrilled to finally get rid of Sekiro, probably. Sekiro this year. seems like it's going to be really cool. As someone who's not even huge in the Soul games but has played them, it looks really fun. I, I'm interested in the, in the more action-oriented <laughs> approach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's all action, but, you know, fast-paced. Rapide has joined the party. Yes, you can be a dog now. Finally. My life is complete. First, we're going to be like, hey, check it out. We're in the overworld now where you're a giant. Fee, fi, fo, Which is something bum, RPGs don't do anymore, and I miss it. Maria. So the number two is always going to be... Uh, is our semi-auto person. Gotcha. So, which Semi-auto, which I guess I could ask if you want that or not. What semi-auto does is if you attack with your basic attack, your circle, it'll make sure you run in to be in range first okay. before they swing. That's fine. Okay. And then Sonic Dog is your special move that you can use with X. Okay, Sonic Dog. Let's give you a test fight. Yeah, let's let's test out this doggo. He's like our thief, so he doesn't do a ton of damage, but he moves super fucking fast. Get off my dog. Sonic Dog! <laughs> they just fucked her up. Holy power, come to me! Burf. Which you'll hear that a lot in this game. Oh, wait. We can also dress up the dog. I forgot. Thank God. The dog didn't have costumes in the American version, but thanks to Japan. Rapide gets bonus titles now, too. Awesome. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got. All right, doggo. You can be man's best friend. Or it could be top dog's right paw. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Joe Toto dog. Okay, if I'm... I, I, that is a very strong contender right now, but let's see what else we got. The census general. It'd be demon dog. Okay. That's good, too. It's neat. Most valuable pup. 
Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> the Wolf Fang <laughs> Brigade. The Air Bud outfit. And Respeed! Wow. I'm, I'm J J Jotaro. Jotaro. Yeah, you got Jotaro. it. Good, good call. That's what he wore for my game for the whole playthrough. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a dog-based pun for yada yada, and I don't got it. <laughs> barke barke. Something like that, yeah. I, th I think I think we settled on doge doge, guys. <laughs> doge doge dogze. <laughs> and look, instead of a pipe, now you got a stick. So you're a high school student. You can't smoke. And yes, the dog gets a swimsuit too. Thank God. Susan Bourne, 042. Thank you so much for the four, uh, four month resub. Saying hi, Lanny and Grant. Hello. It's just explaining how ends work. That's right. Thank dog. Yeah, thank dog. Dog is God backwards. <gasps> I feel like that's knowledge we could use. Let's kill this dog. Oh, Destroy man. your own kind, Rapide. Oh, Show your loyalty to the human race. Dogs are man's best friend. <laughs> Resound, oh, cry of victory. Rarf. All right. Ruby, Ruby, <laughs> Ruby. There are other victory things where everybody tries to get Rapide to work with them, but he's only loyal to Yuri, and it's great. But as the game goes on, he slightly warms up to the rest of the party. It's Aww. adorable. Like a good dog. Ooh, this is a very Final Fantasy-sounding mm -hmm. track here. Do you think those knights followed you here? Poof. I wonder. <laughs> Well, let's do our best not to stand out. Okay, and I want to catch up with Flynn as soon as I can. All right, let's see if we can just pass through the hold. I'm sure it's that simple. Oh, of course. What could possibly go wrong? Where's she off to now? Ace Mage 123, we've got smooth frame rates because this is on the PS4 now Woo! and commercially available to everyone everywhere. It's no longer locked to Japan. Did it come out this week or? It came out today. Oh, today. This blade was forged by none other than Asam the Blade Master. Than Ass Man. <coughs> ass Man. Oh, yeah. We're he, he, just going to start if talking about here's what your weapon, weapon skills, skills are. Sealed inside them, those weapon skills will be stored inside your Bodhi Blastia when you equip the weapons. If you have <laughs> <a> <laughs> The Bodie Boy Ashtia. If you unequip that weapon, you'll have to set the weapon skills to be able to use them. Uh, Lumi Rev, I've been playing this on the Switch, and it does seem to be about this smooth, too. Like, I think I saw a little bit of dropping in some places. But oh, so it's on the Switch, too. Yes. So, hey. See, that's how if, I'd have to play If you're the kind like of person this. like me who doesn't like to sit in front of a TV for his JRPGs anymore. Yeah, I, I can't. Yeah, like, I, I played all, like, again, Valkyria Chronicles. I played all the games on my on my PC, but now the Valkyria Chronicles 4 is on Switch. Switch, I'm like, oh, that's the only yeah, way that's, I'm playing it. That's where it's going. That's why I'm really hoping that since they're putting Joker and Smash that they're going to put Persona 5 on uh, the Switch as well. That'd be cool. Yeah. Because that's the only way I'm going to play it. I'd also, I, I would also like Dragon Quest on the Switch because that's, again, the way I'm going to play it. And that yeah. seems very doable. Yeah, right? read all about it in that young lady's book. I can't imagine business is all that great. Don't get me wrong. Like I was gonna say, the framing of this <laughs> probably tilt down a little. There are monsters on the. We want to show off that big wall first. So I'm stuck. Monsters, huh? Did you hear that? Hmm. And she's not listening. Huh? Did you say something? I said I'm gonna go get some information. So you wait right there. Oh, I'll come too. That's all right. Go ahead and take it. It's pretty old, and it has some pain. Ah, the Switch isn't that weak of a system. It runs Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Thank you very much. But at the same time, Breath of the Wild is kind of a master class in how you can... Not so, like, cut corners makes it sound wrong, but it, like, get the most out of your hardware, for sure. Yeah. That game is very much designed to work as smoothly as it can. At the same time, that was still a game that came out like very early on in its yeah. run, oh, yeah. in its cycle. Yeah, 
that is launch hardware right and there. And they're now, like, I think they're just now talking about releasing, like, a quote-unquote pro version of the Switch that's just a little bit stronger. Oh, yeah? Like, the new Switch or something. Switch 2. Super Switch. Optimized. Thank you, CG. Dinner time. Dinner for monsters. Look at this ominous cloud that's supposed to imply motion of a lot of things. <coughs> Mufasa, no. <sighs> Close the gates! Inside, the gate's closing. We're really just We're loving now. this. Uh, bell no, you're great. Gonna, it's great. This bell. bell sound is gonna loop for a for a hot second here. Mm -hmm. Teletubbies go bye bye. Again, again. <laughs> now, remember, this is a re remaster of a game from <laughs> ten years ago. Things were things were a little different, and it was a JRPG. Kind of known the for time. Not the time, little girl. They're not all in! But that little girl just crumpled down. And we're, we're guards! We don't care! She must have been like 50 feet away, too. Like, that's really sad. Oh, that was a big one. I think he's just called the brute. We can fight him eventually. <laughs> he's like, ah, that girl's gonna get killed. already getting crazy. That's it. I'm cursed. I know it. Ah. Oh. She did look a little vacuous there. Uh, she's she's kind of dumb. What the hell? Cut it out. Bad dog. Bad Jojo dog. So we stop the gate from going. Help the girl. Whatever you say. Alright. No, the dolly! I just want the dog to run there. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat, no! The monsters! He's tearing up this dog as these monsters descend on him. Is it going to be like the end of, uh, end of one of the alien movies where they go back for the cat, but yeah. it's like a fucking doll? Oh my god, they are. <laughs> no, it's a fucking doll. You wait here. Oh, oh my, my god. god. I'll, I'll do die it. for the doll. That's what you're worried that's, about? That's right. We kept saying Yare Yare Dage was, was our phrase. Good. No! Whee! Oh! Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. All I needed to do was like drop the doll on the other side. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whoops. How can I ever thank you? Money. Oh, Money would be really. nice. I'm not sure what I would have done if Luke you Luke 1X, thank you so much for the Prime Check. sub. Welcome to the team. Burf. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? That, why'd that dog assault me? What is a stylish safe. dog. That's a cool dog. <laughs> Whoa. All worn out, huh? It really is dangerous beyond the barriers with so many ferocious monsters around. This place could definitely <clears> be <throat> a barrier against a pack that big. Couldn't they install a barrier blastia here? No. Barriers are a precious resource. You're right. And with the current technology, we can't make any more. If only we could recover the secrets of the Oh yeah, by the way, their barriers are from an ancient they technology the they don't understand. Of course. They uh they just found them. They're from an old civilization. Yeah. They called it Earth. <laughs> The big villain of this game ends up being pollution. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that that's ah Fern Gully. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. this, this... it's like, oh wait, we've been using this magic and it's con it's converting it into this uh like substance that's bad for the earth and polluting it. Whoops. Oh boy, these guys look like they're good news. Yo, I heard you like Monster Hunter. Monster Hunters. <laughs> I do huh. like that weapon. Uh, it, it, I like that it has an actual Stop. hand guard on it, and then there's another space for him to use his <laughs> hand. I hope that it can come apart so the other part's just like a kunai. Ooh. Stay out of this. You knights cheated us out of a job back there. And now That's pretty badass design, though. Some steam. The Monster Hunters do have cool designs. Right, Unfortunately, they're all kind of dicks. Yeah, I'm trying it's to figure out the need for that little can opener beak it has in the <laughs> middle of the sword. but uh, You can loop that like a smaller monster. You can kind of like hook them and then just... 
I guess. Get him by the throat. We'll never get through as long as this keeps up. But Flynn is headed to Halor, and we're so close. Well, getting caught by the knights wouldn't be too fun. Let's find another way through. You mean a comma? No, a kunai with chain. <laughs> it's different. But yes, it would be a kunai. Uh, uh, blah, 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 comma. Come on. Basically skip the scene where the president of uh, the Merchants Guild is like, yo, there's a haunted woods nearby. You could probably walk through there. I once did like, I think five whole duels of Hearthstone in a row where I was just doing a terrible Joey Wheeler impression. Ah, oh, man. He has my next card. You? He next will attack your life points directly. I'll go get him. Better be careful. This duel's heating up. I have my punchy move, and right now it only punches, I think, one, two, three times. Yeah, but the more times I use it, the better it gets, and eventually I can punch like eight times with it. It's great. Just bap, 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 bap. So now we have to go around. Yes. You should use the big scary forest. Where surely nothing bad will happen. Big scary forest? I hear big scary forest is haunted. Well, uh, it's, it's just a myth. Don't worry, it's just the name. It's actually a woods. <laughs> it's not big enough to be a forest. <laughs> Stampy, where are we gonna find trees with all this forest in the way? A forest in a place like this can only mean the Quoi Woods. Yeah, it has nothing to do with any of those forests <laughs> outside of those mountains. I was I was in suspense seeing if it was gonna be pronounced Quoi or Qua. Qua 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 Ah, so that must be the surprise. Ellipses. Not going in? It's fine by me, but what about Flynn? Get in like I Flynn. Know. Okay, let's go. Too scared? What's the matter, Colonel Sanders? Chicken? <laughs> bok bok bagok? Come on, axe beak bird. Yeah, I think I saw that thing in, uh, what was it? Quest for Camelot. Yeah. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I never watched that movie. Oh, really? Yeah. Don't. Okay. <laughs> Is it? it had, like, one good thing in it, and it was, like, one song that had nothing to do with the movie and did not fit thematically with the shit that was happening while that movie was doing. Like, I was hoping it'd be like El Dorado, and it was just one of those animated movies I kind of missed out on and then watched later and was like, this is actually pretty fun. Yeah, El Dorado's pretty good. El Dorado is what happens if you run a D&D &D campaign with a rogue and a bard. Yes. Yeah. Very accurate. And apparently uh, Miguel and Tulio were actually intended to sort of be in, in a relationship, and they had to sort of just take out all their sly references. Hmm. And then the they theme. had to put in, like, the overly, the uh, very overly sexy sexualized... Uh, actually, uh, who's totally the, giving him head in the movie. Yeah. Actually, apparently, the, <laughs> the ending is sort of su supposed to imply a, like, polyamorous relationship or something. I'm not sure how accurate Between the three of them? I've just I read this. That. I could definitely see Miguel and Tulio being bi at the Absolutely. Very yeah. And not, like, one of those things where, like... Oh, and Solo, Lando's pan. And, like, because we say so. He does nothing to imply that, but... There's a small joke in there that implies that he might have banged the robot at one point. But I don't know how that's supposed to work, and I think it's just supposed to be taken as a joke. Yeah. Robosex. These damn dirty robosexuals. The best joke in Solo is just the the moment where Lando's like, I hate you. And, and Han's like, I know. He's yeah. Like, ah, yeah, that, that was kind of clever. I, I dig that one. The rest of the movie's kind of worthless. <laughs> it's honestly one of those movies that I kind of regret seeing in theaters. Like, it would be on a list of, like... it. I, I think when I was coming up with, like, you know, the five movies that I disliked the most this year, it just barely didn't make the list. But that's because there were, like, a few other movies that were just that much worse. Yeah. yeah it's one of those things, it's, there's not enough to hate it. Yeah. It, but, like, also, I, I can't really bring myself to like it. I like some bits of the score... John Powell's a good composer. It but just like, did not, like, I don't think Han Solo needed a backstory. That's no, where I'm coming no, from. No, like, and the one they gave us was fucking Bad. boring. 
and like, like you know like, like Red give, Letter me, Media give me donald kind of, like, glover as lando fine but i remember watching it later lando's a character that can be expanded on han solo you don't need his backstory. yeah a lando movie i would watch um but yeah and of course the uh spoilers for those who haven't watched it i don't i don't think we're that worried about it anymore but like darth maul at the end yeah, oh, so yeah. For, for anybody that hasn't seen like any of the cartoons would be like what and the, for the people who have they know most of his story already who gives it yeah shit? they know how it ends right so because they showed it in uh they showed it in rebels how his story ends yeah so you so, know he's not going to meet his end on screen but like in, but in the film like as it contains story it means nothing yeah he's just there it's just like to, oh boy look to be a menacing face you see the, the, the reveal is has nothing to do with it thematically or like like oh well this makes sense because no he's just there for recognition it, it was a good touch though that when he showed up they had they had the duel of fates playable yeah bit. that's nice but again i like the score well enough I, ha I had a nice little fan moment like oh yeah he's here and then i'm just sitting there like why, why? And also, the they didn't bring bring back uh sarah finowitz to do the voice i mean they brought ray park in because he played maul what's that um, you know, like for the physical performance, I'm talking about the voice though. The voice oh. was uh, Peter Serafinowicz. Oh, oh, really? Um, yeah, uh, who you guys have seen all over the place. I don't know if you re you <laughs> know him by name, but <clears throat> but for some reason they didn't bring him back. It was just really poor it's sequel bait, trying to make a another series out of Star Wars. Like, oh, everybody wants to know the solo verse. I mean, and, come on, do you want to do you want to see what happens to Amelia Clark? Come on, she she's. She's uh, doing stuff with Darth Maul. You could barely notice her accent in this one. It's so cool. Oh, man. Pretty sure we didn't. I like how it, in, in, in Solo, here. we learned everything we need to know about his backstory. Including that nothing. It, including that how the fucking uh, Imperial Stationman gave him his last name. Yeah. Right. Han um, Solo. Solo. <laughs> like when I heard that was when I was like, I Fuck rolled this my movie. Was like 10 I, I thought my in. eyes were going to like detach from my like yeah yeah like brain. that was like they everything up to so that hard. point. I was like, okay, I've heard like mixed to bad things about this movie. I'm sure it'll be fine. And then once that line happened, I was like, oh my god, people were right. This movie seems it's quite It's a movie silly. I regret not waiting to watch on an airplane, which is why I am waiting to see Aquaman on an airplane. Hey, you know what? That'd probably be a pretty good way to see it. I'm gonna give you... Wanna run a little faster or have mad more magic defense? I'll, t I'll run a little faster. All right. Be a quick old doggo. And we'll give her a cape. <laughs> be a fast doggy. People saying Aquaman was good, though? Great. I'll probably really enjoy it on an airplane. <laughs> People say Venom's good, and I just don't believe you. I, I thought Venom, Venom, Venom had a good second act. The rest of it, I thought, was not good. That said, despite not having any interest in the Venom movie, I am actually kind of on board with the idea of seeing Tom Hardy Venom pitted against uh, Tom Holland. Peter Parker. Oh, okay. Because I like the age difference, and I think that can bring a cool dynamic to that kind of story. Yeah, I thought I like the the back and forth like the relationship between Eddie and Venom in that was the best part of the movie and there wasn't enough of it. Like uh, when uh, they were going down from the really tall bill, it's like jump Eddie, and then he's taking the elevator. Pussy, I just love that. <laughs> New character. Oh boy, anime boy. Now everybody likes to to give crap to this kid, but I really like him. <laughs> he is—he is like the hand stab. He is the—he's the shonen protagonist, but just a little too young and coward. Oh, man, that hurt. He's like our team's Usopp. Yeah, I—I I see that. <laughs> he presented. I'm warning you, I don't taste very good. you get the runs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fine. Somebody help. Mm. Is this kid for real? It's really overreacting. It's right <laughs> huh? After like uh, spinning with that sword around. for like a half hour. Oh brother, this should be interesting. All right, well we have hit eight o'clock. Yes, we have. Hold on. 
I'm gonna skip this. I'm gonna get to costumes for him just because there's one specific costume I wanted to show before we left. Right on. Uh, Shame we didn't make it to Big Titty Girl, but. Uh, yes, unfortunately, she's kind of later in the game. I figured. It would have been pretty tough to get to her. I don't know which bonus title it is. So his name is Carl. Ca Carol. Carl. Carol. Carl. Carl. Uh, so we can get this uh, as normal Campus looking one. Lackey. He can be he can be his high school buddy. Okay. I like that he keeps the sword in his gym bag. Oh wait, did the, is it? It's not in this game. Oh no. I mean this there's this costume where he's ah, Klonoa. Oh that's nice. Great. That's great. But uh oh shit, I can't believe they took it out. That's actually a bummer. Okay, what, uh, what the costume? other one is so his Japanese voice actress is the same actress as Sergeant Frog. And, oh, shit. And yeah, it's a, a big frog Sergeant dude? Frog costume. Like, oh, it's just damn. totally Sergeant Frog. Why isn't he played by Todd Hader oh. Capricorn in this? Very unfortunate that that costume isn't here. I didn't that realize that, too bad. that isn't here. That's a bummer. But All anyway. Right. Well, thank you for joining us for Cash Friday tonight, guys. I got to go spend some time with my doggo. It's his birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be on a little later on tonight over on Twitch.tv slash Lanny Pator hanging out with uh, McGuild. Mm. On Final Fantasy fourteen, so feel free to pop by there. Probably about an hour or so. How about you, Grant? What you got going on this uh, weekend? I might stream some of this, maybe some Smash, maybe some Hitman 2, because I've been trying to actually go through that for realsies since the only uh, the only bit of it I've experienced has been what you saw in our playthroughs. Cool. Uh, so, yeah, probably some of that. Twitch.tv slash MasterWGS. How about you, Stefan? You got anything going on this weekend? I know you're not much on the streaming scene. Yeah, but... I, I don't stream, so uh, and I have nothing... I'm going to upload to YouTube, so no. <laughs> All right. Cooly cooly. There you go. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you guys next time on Stream 4 Star. Good night, everybody. Oh. Throw the mics back on real quick, just for a second. Hmm? If, if it's not already gone. Yeah, my mics are on. Okay, apparently people are saying that the frog costume is in the DLC. I must have just missed it. Still, oh. it's real cool. Bye. <laughs>